Who start? Is the Vaz White edition? White edition? Oh, Vaz White edition. I'm Sir Hazington. Fuck it, Vaz. My son, Vaz. Um, shit. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Painting with Friends. As usual, I'm Sir Hazington. Try out my view. What is my view? What does that mean? Go to my view. What the fuck does my view mean? What does that mean, Aaron? My view. Oh, shit. Welcome to my view. My view is a customizable channel mo- mo- mode that includes everything you need to moderate or some shit. Uh, we gonna go back. I don't know what the fuck this is going on. That's just, just that's not happening. I ain't doing all that shit. That shit is weird. Who is this before? Got a, got Ryan behind me, popping Ryan. Um, hi, welcome, welcome to painting with friends as usual. Fuck, I don't got my damn kalimba. Alright, we back in this bitch. We back in this bitch. Damn, that sound off. Fuck it. Welcome back to Painting with Friends. I'm motherfucking uh, Sir Hazington. And today's date is April 6, 2020. And as you know, it is 420 all month long. Too bad it's in a quarantine. Goddamn. God fucking damn Carol Baskins. It lets you see the people in the stream, the mods that are active in the stream, and some other shit. That's that's crazy. I tried my view and didn't like it. Shit is too complicated for me. That shit almost gave me a motherfucking ulcer. That shit almost gave me some motherfucking uh, a seizure. I don't know. That shit. Ulcer. It hurt my stomach when I looked at it. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. Um, anyway, so this is a great day. It's a great motherfucking day. It's a great day to go outside and do some things, but you know everything closed, so fuck that. Um, you can walk around outside in nature, but they'll probably kick you out of that too. So, uh, damn, I don't know what the fuck you' supposed to do nowadays. Shit, crazy. Uh, let's get into some topics. So, shit, y'all heard about that tiger getting the corona? That shit crazy. Who the fuck would give a tiger a fucking corona? Why would you give a tiger beer? Zing and a miss. Anyway, I had some other topics to talk about and everything else. Uh, did y'all hear about that guy who shot that guy because he ordered pizza, but he forgot he ordered pizza, so he shot the Papa John's guy? That shit crazy. How you get so high and, and you just you just forget and, and you pull the trigger out like on him? I've never been so high to pull the trigger out and forget while I'm pulling the trigger out. You know what I mean? Like, that shit crazy. Auto mod. Hold a message for reasons identity allow. This some American shit. What the fuck? You can say that. Why I gotta permit that? That's kind of crazy. Shit, motherfucking crazy out here. It's definitely some American shit. And it seems like everybody inside, they don't know what the fuck they want to do. Like, but it, it seems like we all been inside watching Tiger King. You had to appro- you had to approve American shit. American shit. That's some dictator shit, shit right there. That's some weird shit right there. How the fuck can I say American shit? God damn it. But it seems like, you know, the world the world is in a state in which we all watch Tiger King at the moment. I think Tiger King ruined Carol Baskin. It had yeah, to. Netflix came up. Netflix came up hard. If you didn't have stock in Netflix before, you're going to want some motherfucking stock in Netflix now. God damn it. I swear to God. That shit crazy. How the fuck you drop a documentary that motherfucking hard? Got got tigers and shit. I'm trying to be the motherfucking uh, Carol Baskins of our Minecraft community when I hop on tonight. Boom, you gotta see Tiger King. Oh my god, if you haven't fucking seen Tiger King. How have you King, not seen it? How the fuck have you not seen motherfucking Tiger King? So today, I have some uh, very special things to start off with. Um, Let's go to our new book of the month. We don't have a book because we can't get physical books anymore. So, we're downloading apps. And I like to download the app Webtoon. If you don't have Webtoon, you should get Webtoon. It's a great app in which you can... Oh, you can't see that. Oh, can you see it now? Nope, you can't see it whenever I tilt it. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, tilt it. There we go. Kind of, you can see it. If you download the Webtoon app, there's a great series on Webtoons in which you can read comics. And the comic I have been reading 
every single Monday is The Tower of God. The Tower of God is a great webtoon that is about a young boy trying to find his friend, and it has been recently put onto a uh, motherfucking crunchy roll. I'm trying to show you. It's hard for a pimp to be out here in these streets. I have never seen it. That's when I was Ryan Wilding. Yeah, he been riling for a minute. He been wilding for a brick. Look at that man in the back. Crazy and shit. You might give him a call. I don't know. Shit. Fuck. Y'all want us to give him a call? We'll give him a call. Anyway, y'all want to learn some foreign languages? Huh? I want to learn Swahili. Swahili. And pull up some videos and let's learn some French. Really? Yes. I swear to God, if she don't tell me each needs sign chi, I'm just gonna think you on games. It's gonna be a motherfucking games. I swear to God. Okay, we gonna learn some motherfucking foreign languages. Cause if you ain't got shit better else to do in the house, you might as well fucking learn. God damn it. But before that, let's do a motherfucking. I want to learn braille. Can't learn braille, bitch. You can feel braille. Um, and we gotta do a cloud ad first. I forgot. I forgot about the cloud ad. Now it's time for ended insights. When you introduce. Oh, okay. Why is it a white bitch? Is, is the French are white? Nah. Oh fuck! God damn it. The these. <laughs> Draw the enemies. You learning that shit? Fuck is she white for? I'm so confused. I was gonna make a sentence in French, but my mind went blank. It happens sometimes. That's your boo. Learn to speak real Caribbean from your first. I guess so. I guess that's what the fuck. Then it becomes formal. Yo let's is a particle that can make a sentence polite. Yo. Panga, how are you? Panga, how are you? Anyone way to introduce yourself is Anyong Haseo. Anyong Haseo. Anyong has a nice anal. Anyong. Anyong. Now, it's time for anal. I don't know if this is racist. Bitch, you quick as fuck. I feel like this is racist. Hold on. <coughs> if you're a girl, bow with your hands in front of you. There's a difference. Bow from the waist. You don't have to dip down very far. From the waist. In the last lesson, we learned doing it with my neck. To do some jumping I hope y'all doing this at home. Today, we got to bow with the waist. How to use good manners as we thank people. Are you ready? Yes. Then let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the most common phrase, Kamsa Hamida. 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 Hold on, Johnson. Hold on, Johnson, bitch. That's crazy. My mommy comes on me. <laughs> You are making a mockery of this bitch. <laughs> you are making a mockery of this young bitch. I swear to God. Fuck. Every cough blows out my asshole. It's annoying. What? It's painful <laughs> shit. What the fuck? Kumawa. Kumawa. Gulami. <laughs> There's no e, e on that bitch. Comes on me. Comes on me. It's a formal way to say to do. Hamida. Comes on Hamida. Y'all saying this? Pause it, Aaron. Pause it. Y'all saying this shit at? Y'all saying this shit at home? Type it. Y'all better type that shit. Type it right now. Comes on Hamida. Y'all better be paying fucking attention. We having a class right now. We gonna we gonna do a test. We gonna do a little test. Comes on Hamida. What does that shit mean? Uh, I don't know. My screen and yours are different. Ping got it. Ping got the fucking Gamsa Hamida. 
Where you at, Mo? Where the fuck you at, Mo? Where you at? He ain't paying attention. He ain't paying attention. He ain't even in here. Fucking crazy. All right. But what does it mean, though? I don't fucking know. Let's get. Let's go to Japanese. Fuck this. Why are we learning this Korean? This phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Korean, you can Why are we learning that Korean? everyone will understand what you're asking. I don't even... Gum sum hamida. I don't know how to spell that shit. Are you ready? Good job. Then you spelled it right. Start. Here's the basic way to... You both get an A. You both get a fucking A. Yongo has. Yongo haseyo. Want to speak real Japanese from your first lesson? Sure. Sign up for your. We're gonna learn some Japanese, mother. We're switching it up. Fuck Korean. Too hard. Why is it so low? What? Boku wa tiko. What? What the fuck? Yes, it is. What the fuck? Is this is this advanced? They're just speaking in motherfucking Japanese. They ain't even telling you what the English is. Motherfuckers. What the fuck is this, Aaron? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We might stay on this one. I gotta see how her titties look again. Watashiwa does. So, Hazington. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce If her titty's small, we're going to the next bitch. There are three sentences to do this, and it's super easy. Her and fucked up teeth kind of cute. Right Damn, There's this 300 three level Japanese. I refuse to learn this. Japanese. You can refuse, but it's going to happen. Hajimemashite. Nice to meet you. Hajimemashite. First we have Hajimimashite. Nice to meet you. Hajimimashite. Hajimimashite. This expression means nice to meet you. Hajimimashite literally What? What? This phrase is often the first thing said when introducing oneself and appropriate for all. Hajimimashite. You got it. Watashi wa vez des. The verb comes at the end of the sentence. So, watashi. Watashi. Watashi wa. My name is Hiroko. Watashi wa. Des am. I, Hiroko, am. Watashi wa Hiroko des. Watashi wa was good mo des. That's what's fucking popping. You put Mike. My man's getting it. Ain't nobody in here named Mike, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? The, the what? Don't be scared. It's kind of like an English to be. And finally we have... Scared of what? I'm a motherfucking thug. I'm a motherfucking thug. Fuck, I'm gonna be scared of. Yoroshiku. 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 Onegai. 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 Oni motherfucking guy. Oniga. Shimasu. 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 All right, we're getting some shit done. Let's How you say what's good, Mo, in Japanese? This phrase is um, and gets its meaning I don't depending fucking know. The situation. This literally means, please be good to me. What? It is the oh, bitch. All right, yeah, stop it. Stop it. What the fuck she you talking about, please be good to me? What's she teaching us? You gonna start teaching us how to get massages? What the fuck is she teaching us? Yo, Roshiku, Onigai, Shimasu. That means please be good to me. What the fuck did she just teach us? We done with her. Go to the next one. This bitch crazy. This bitch trying to teach us how to give a happy ending or some shit. Fuck that. Nope. Is that Japanese? That's Wabanese. What the fuck? What the fuck is Wabanese? I don't know. This one says Japanese. Oh. <laughs> you didn't even spell what's right. That's how he spells it. That's how he spells it, but you gotta spell it right if you want them to translate that shit. 
What's her name? So there we go. Moyokata. Moyokata. That's how we spell it. We're gonna type it to you. Damn, they butchered that shit. They ain't butchered that shit. It's mo e ya kata. Mo yokata. Yokata mo. You misspelled it too. Yokata mo. You also misspelled it. Get get rid of the mo. Get rid of the mo. We gonna put the mo at the end. Get rid of the mo in the English. Yokata. So it's yokata mo. Yokata. Mo. Because mo moe is a is um is a form of genre in which like girl on girl kind of it's kind of weird cute shit it's a it's a genre appreciate it yo got the mo anyway we learned some shit today whoo y'all want to continue learning some Japanese or y'all want to go to a different language what language y'all want to fucking learn I don't care I don't give a shit I'm just in here I smell drugs it's on my nose damn it all right drop fucking earth. I'm making a Scudder World shirt right now, mixed with Cloud. Cloud and Scudder World. I could have swore I put all these motherfuckers on silent. Bitch, you get to talk to me. What the fuck she mean? Let's learn some Dutch. All right, Vaz, you know you know too much about porn. That's not porn. I didn't say it was porn. Hey, Cloud X Scudder Collab, you know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck it is. Turn the fuck up. You know how the fuck we do out here, bitch. Um, anyway, so yep, we gonna um, I don't watch too much porn, I, and I don't even watch porn. Why would he say that about me? And you trying to learn some Dutch? Dutch. Mm, yeah, we can try it. Aha, I knew you were ass. What? One Damn it, two. caught your ass slipping. <laughs> this nigga smart as shit. He done tricked my dumb ass. Smart ass nigga. Thank you. Uh, for now. As this expression can be used in both the formal and informal introduction. I don't trust this bitch. If you use the correct sentence with Dutch people, they're definitely going to be impressed. In no, the they not. Lesson, they're going to be like, look at this fancy ass, ass nigga learning Dutch. fancy ass Dutch. In this lesson... We're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. No. Ben je klaar voor? Are you ready? Yes. Let's start. Okay. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Bedankt. 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 Bedankt means thank you. Bedankt, bedankt. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add zeer. Bedankt, bedankt for that bedankt a dunk. Ha ha. Right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Zeba dunk for that badunk a dunk. Zeba dunk for the badunk a dunk. Badunk is the casual way to thank someone. If you want to be more formal, <laughs> there's another phrase you should use. Dunk u wel. Dunk u wel. Let's break this phrase down. Dunk is thanks, <laughs> and u is a formal word for you. We will discuss Dutch pronouns I don't like this one. in a later lesson. Finally, Bell means a lot. The bedunk for the bedunk a dunk. Actually, there is also <coughs> an informal form what? of the expression dunk well. In an informal sense, oh, yeah. the correct it's expression is season. dunk you well. Dunk you got me fucked up. Yeah. That, that door wide open. E Pollen all up in this bitch now. Dunk well is simply replaced by yeah. But dunk a dunk. Yeah is the informal word dunk for you. Zerbu dunk. How do you answer? Does, it's does easy. Fuck, how Here's fuck the most it? common response. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. can be used with Graag gedaan. Literally, Dutch is a weird ass language. <laughs> Happily done, I did it with pleasure. So when someone is saying, Ooh, thank you, Anal Beads, for subscribing. You simply reply with Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. Hey, thank you, Anal Beads. For Malene's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use bedankt, dank u wel. We just learned how to say thank you. You say bedankt. For that badunk dunk You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. This shit crazy. Badunks can be used with just about anyone, this anywhere, shit crazy. anytime. This In shit the last crazy. Lesson, we learned how to be Who the fuck's idea was it to do Dutch? Why Dutch? Lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings. Go to an actual language. 
That's not in Spanish or some shit. That's just like, he said Dutch is like a German remix. Dead ass. Germans and the Jews made a language. I don't like her suit. She knows she could have went with a light blue suit and it would have matched with her hair, but her hair kind of like, it's not vibrant. She need to get some fucking Pantene or some shit. I'm tired of this bitch. Let's go to a new one. Can we go to a Spanish one? I want to learn Spanish. Fuck this. How the fuck did she put it? How the fuck did she? It's like a frog stuck in the back of her shit. Can we learn French after Spanish? Yes. Fuck, fuck, whatever the fuck this is. Anal bees. Anal bees, what the fuck you been up to all day? Fuck you been up to. Fuck you been up to, anal beads. I ain't seen you in a brick. Ew, her eye shadow is atrocious. This bitch look like the wicked witch of the motherfucking West. God damn. I thought I was gonna get a pretty bitch. I woke up late. Woke up late for what? You don't got no fucking job. Hola, soy Lucia, mucho gusto. Hola, which means hi or hello. Hola. Soy. Soy like I'm. And then your name. Hola, soy Lucia means hi. Hola, soy. So Hazington, mucho gusto, puta. We getting this shit. I be staying out late. Not anymore, Rip. Staying out late? Where? Where the fuck you be going? What's open? Fuck you talking about? What the fuck you be staying out? Me amo. Me amo. Hola, amigos. Me amo mo. This nigga events. How the fuck he know that shit already? Move him up to the next advanced class, and Mo going to the next advanced class. Her ears is big as shit. That joint poking Lucia. out under, that shit poking out on the other side. Hi, Look at her big ass nice ears. No, I would hide them shits Hola. too. That Lucia. hair ain't doing enough. Hi, my name is Lucia. Nice to meet you. Bitch, we gotta learn this. Now it's time for Lucia's insight. Hola, amigo. I took five years of that shit. So did I. I still suck at it. Nothing open. Oh, I just smoke with my boyfriend, and before I know it's 3 a.m. every time. Fuck y'all be doing? Smoking, smoking that much They be chain smoking God damn How the fuck you smoke for that long You ain't just smoking You trying to make it seem like You just smoking You ain't just smoking You doing other shit too I could just copy and paste All my Spanish notes Into the chat But y'all not ready Do that shit I'm ready I'm ready for everything Espero que tengas I believe what What why the fuck he got a fucking British accent? Fuck you, new Spanish, nigga. You know what we doing, okay? Don't come for me. Then don't lie about it. Shit. Ain't my fault. I would just say, I hope that you go out with me. Espero que tengas algo. Que salgas conmigo. Espero que salgas conmigo. Oh, shit, okay. Espero que salgas conmigo. I hope you go out with me. Bitch. Damn, the subjective always trip me up. The subjective is fucking crazy in fucking Spanish. I would just say, I hope you do something. Espero que hagas algo. Espero que hagas algo. Espero. Que hagas algo importante. Espero que hagas importante. Some Spanish poor dummies. Don't move away Why not you those. just get duolingual? And if I, I don't know. We just doing some different shit than we usually yeah. do today. Doing this, you'll, you'll see that it's quite straightforward. How this is formed. All right, quiz time, Aaron. Pause it. Let's try. Mi amigo Brian Guerrero Cocan. What the fuck does that mean? Wait. Mi amigo Brian Guerras Coquen. What the fuck does that mean? Translate that shit. Mi amigo Brian Guerras Coquen. Learn that shit. What's up? Oh, shit. You still want your bottle? Your bottle? Yeah, I'll take it. All right, bro. 
Thank you, bro. Be safe. My friend Brian wants cocaine. Nah, bitch. My friend Brian loves cocaine. Alright, but quiero can mean love, but it can also mean once. Quieres. Loves. That nigga loves cocaine. Isn't cocaine in Spanish? Cocaina? Who fucking knows, my nigga? I don't know. I ain't no Spanish teacher. Wanna do some ecstasy? Wanna do some ecstasy? What the fuck? Fuck I'm gonna do with ecstasy. What? Fuck I'm gonna do with ecstasy. I don't know. I ain't got shit popping. We gonna play Minecraft on ecstasy. Shit gonna be weird as shit. Your no. bees will be sexy as fuck. My bees will dance. I'm good. <laughs> Them llamas will be beautiful. El Hermonstro. Wait, what? El Hermonstro. Stepbrother. La Hermonstro. Stepsister. Los hijos. Children. Son he el hijo. He got the. He got the fucking. This ain't no quiz ping. There you go. Fuck this. Your Spanish sucks. All right, Aaron. We gotta do something else. Let's learn some French. Learn Spanish naturally. Block one, Spanish quiz. Okay, pause Hola. it. All right, good morning. Who can, who, who can guess what good morning fucking means? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you mean how do you say good morning in Spanish? Oh, yeah. Not <laughs> what it means. Who the fuck? Why a white man going to be teaching Spanish? Man, I don't fucking know, man. They always wait <coughs> something. I don't know. They always want to learn that shit so they can talk down on immigrants and be like, yeah, I understand what the fuck you said about me. Why not clean the pool? Anyway, um, who can translate good morning to Spanish? Buenos dias. You might be right. You might be right. You might be right. So what? what is what is Spain considered? Spaniards? Okay. What do you mean? What do you consider? In what part of Europe? How do people categorize it? They're the Spaniards. Mm. Not Mediterranean or anything? No. Hmm. They're white people just like everybody else. So wouldn't it make sense that a white person is teaching Spanish? Man, I don't fucking know, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck, man. I don't give a fuck. Bienvenido al primer repaso de lo que hemos aprendido en español. Hello. Welcome to the first review of the Spanish we have learned. <laughs> Brainos <laughs> Tardis. <laughs> What's up, retards? <laughs> 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 Fuck wrong with you, man. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you, bro. <laughs> like American white. He sound like Good he morning. eat at Bob Evans every day. <laughs> what the fuck is Bob Evans? It's an old white people restaurant. Ew. It's like Cracker Barrel when you get old. Ew. I thought Cracker Barrel was all for the old people. Buenas noches. Buenos dias. In Espanol, good morning. Damn, is you like Bob Evans more? I've never, never been a motherfucking Bob Evans. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, did he get it? Was Bruno Diaz right? How are you? How do you do? Or what's up? Motherfucker, you gave them the answer. I don't know where we're at. And let's go to French. ¿Cómo estás? Let's go to fucking French. So Pink can learn some French. You? ¿Cómo estás means how motherfucking yeah, are you? I never been there. If you chose A. What's up or what's new? Que he de novio. The correct answer. Que, que he de novio. What's new? Not this shit. Shit boring. Learn French in five days. What's doubt it. Uh, fucking doubt it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 Did he just fart in the mic? What was that? How you gonna fuck the quiz like that? I don't know. Hey, Shit, fuck it. The same sound as we had previously here. Okay, so it's the same sound. And it's A, so really open. Ah. And now if you combine it with the U, you will get the sound U. 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 Je parle. Tu parles. Okay? So let's see what you'll get for il and elle. And well, as you see, you get il parle, elle parle. So it's the same form here. So if you really want to only, only speak and only use orally the, the, the language, well, it's, it's quite easy to conjugate these verbs. I don't trust Je this nigga with language. This nigga studies. Il parle, elle parle. Okay? Well, I only took two okay. years of French. How the fuck you take two years of French and five years of Spanish? I took like six years of French and I don't know shit. 
Bitch, what's wrong with you? Why don't you know shit? What the fuck were you doing? I only really know how to say hi. My name is... Nous parlons. Bros. I don't know shit in French. Un gun son. And I'm going to do for my shall I fucking know. Okay, remember a Z when you combine them together, you get the sound A. Vous parlez. All right, and the last one. So even if you get this E and T, <laughs> don't hate me, but you will pronounce these letters. Okay, you have to write them for the plural form, but you don't pronounce them. So you get il parle, elle parle. So the good news is that you get. Here, je parle, tu parles, il, je elle parle, parle tu parles. Tu, check it. Here, il, elle parle. So it's the same phonetical... I took French and Spanish at the same time during my last two years of high school. Okay. That was a fucking mistake. Je me parle et no beats. What the fuck does je me parle so mean? I like how you're studying. Like, like okay. you really going to use this information. Well, you... Right. What? So we'll take Another example. I ain't studying. Regarder. I ain't even studying. I'm drawing. Watch. Okay, so you can see that the verb is ending with a air. Okay, so you take Ballar. it. You just the take this a air away. And then you see how. A blur is that in Spanish. I know Spanish. Okay. I don't know that so shit. Here we go. Je regarde. Tu regardes. Il regarde. Elle Regarde, nous regardons, vous regardez, il regarde, elle regarde. Ok, so one more time, here, regarde, 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 and then regarde. So phonetically, only one form here, and then regardons, regardez. Alright? Remember... That even if this beautiful verb aller, that we tend to use quite often because it means to go, okay, even if it ends with a air, it is not regular. That might be wrong. All. Numbers Please, in French are so weird. We will count. Allar de go. So from 20 uh, to 50, the Zant von Guntres Ans. So ready because it's something like We got there to watch. The 21. Okay, so remember to make this little link. 21. Hello guys, Christian Mitter here. Summer's coming up. You will learn how to swim. If you have no experience in swimming, you are not alone. But you have someone around you who can keep an eye on you, especially when you start getting into the deep end of the pool. Well, this video sucks. Also... I can get something crazier. That's a clog. That's bad. Ooh. Um, Can't wait to swim in my bathtub this summer. I was putting in Your bathtub. I was about to say that. Gonna try is literally stick my well, now you're gonna learn how to unclog the bitch after you swim in the motherfucker. The we'll see what happens with that. Suck that shit out. Bitch, that is not working. I didn't hear a significant sound there. A lot of water. No debris. So, next is our Damn. little plastic drain tool, which you basically fish into here. Why the fuck is this tub so dirty? That shit gross. And you might want to turn it. Nigga, you, you take a bath with this shit? Why the fuck? How you live like this? It takes a little finessing. It takes a little bit of finessing. Nigga, you finessing cleaning that motherfucking tub. Damn. Okay, these work really well. Can we watch people shake ass instead of this? Damn, while I'm eating cereal? Yep, turn on the ass shaking. Above the knees. Spread your feet out. 
shoulder width apart. And for twerk, you always want to start off. Teach me. She has a like, oh, Tyra Banks Please voice. Me. And God damn it. Damn. I'm about to you imagine. More. I'm about to imagine. Hey, hey. Our first twerk is going to be the shuffle twerk. Oh my there we go. Your heels. Oh, my God. Oh, we learned how to shuffle twerk. Really basic. Oh, damn. Baz, I want to see you learn to twerk. I want to see you learn to twerk. God damn it, you can't twerk. We both going to learn to twerk together. This ten times better than the dirty ass, <laughs> moldy ass ass stuff. Be She gonna wobble that shit. She jiggly jiggly. Hey, fuck it up then, son. Hey. It's like those uh stair steppy things that they at uh, Rick and Morty had the tiny universe step on to generate his energy. It's like slavery, but with extra steps. Ah, uh, now I get it. Extra steps. I get it now. That was the joke. Because they're stepping on it. I don't like to look at this. It's kind of weird. But you're giving me level. Come up, arc. Come down, arc. Up, down. Home girl look kind of too experienced. I ain't going to lie. Home girl in the pink, she look kind of too experienced. She look like she knows what she's doing. And she just came in. These two kind of just look kind of weird. Me one see yo broke it up. Me one seen you break it up. Oh, me one see you break it up. I don't know how to say that. I ain't see why. I ain't Trini. She twerk like Tiana. Why her back like that? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck going back on this. I don't know what the fuck you doing, bitch. What the fuck is you doing? Turn her off, bro. She, she, God damn, bro. Tiana, he was like. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, bro, she don't know what the fuck she doing. She's soul food, but she got all her shit is lettuce. Got the fuck out of here, bro. Nah, bro, she don't know what the fuck she doing. Find me a ghetto ratchet bitch. She gonna twerk. She gonna teach us how to twerk, bro. She ain't it. This bitch ain't it, bro. Where the fuck she from? She only, she only got white friends. God damn, what the fuck is this, bro? Can nobody tell it? Man, get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. This shit ain't real. That's the worst motherfucking. Her back should not be looking like that. She working that back. I don't know how to act because it ain't working for me. Go to the next one. <laughs> God damn. Hey. Whoa. Hey. 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 Oh. Ooh. Yo, you wanna do this? Pop. 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 Come on, you wanna do this? This ain't twerking, but it's something. It's something. Jiggling, 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 jiggling. Pop, 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 pop. Make me wanna shake me, make me wanna shake me, make me wanna shake me, make me wanna shake. Me, me wanna shake. Okay. Wow. wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to go to a club. I ain't gonna lie, this all brand Cinnamon Toast Crunch ain't hitting at all. Damn, what's it called? If it's not called Cinnamon Toast Crunch, what's that shit called? <laughs> it's great value. This shit tastes like how that one girl was twerking. Ah! Gross. <laughs> okay, Blue, fuck it up. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. She gonna have carpet burn down there if she keeps running it like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This shit called Cinnamon Squares. You think it's in the, <laughs> niggas in the crib fucked up eating Cinnamon Squares? <laughs> cinnamon Squares. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, yes. Aaron, you finally did it for me. God damn. This is what I've been waiting for, Aaron. God damn, we is in it. Woo! Yo, quiero bailar. I want to dance. Mo just saw Cinnamon one. Yep. Woo! 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. This reminds me of that girl with the with the butt plug in that, and her asshole a crater. I don't know if this, if this music, I feel like this is definitely copyright. Woo! 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 
Okay, okay, she fucking it up. Okay, okay. Hey, damn. Damn. It's lit. God damn, she fucking it up. She even hit the two step, Aaron. Damn, they shaking the camera. Fuck it up. God damn. This shit crazy. Oh! Oh! Hey, stop, man. Stop, stop. My, my time not. Hey, bro, you gotta turn this shit off, bro. My Facebook timeline full of nothing but this, bro. I'm gonna end up with a baby mama. We keep watching some shit like this, bro. Turn this shit off, bro. Help me out before I end up with children. Stop, stop, stop. Can't turn this shit off. Turn something else. Oh my God, they had lightning coming out her ass. That bitch got thunderclaps. Wow. It wasn't a butthole. It wasn't a butt plug. That's really her asshole. Damn, that shit crazy. Her shit was a crater butt. She had a crater hole. She said in some interview she was doing a lot of anal and her butthole ripped. Woo! Some porn stars can't come back. Like, they have to get surgery, and they don't know if they can ever do anal again. Like, you got to be careful. Like, you can't you can't be shoving two dicks in there at the same time and expecting everything to be all right and using those big dragon anal plugs, like dildos and shit. Bitches is crazy. Bitches is crazy. Ah, oh, man, you got to watch after porn. That should be crazy. Why they got ballerina shoes? And put it into your sequence. You can think of this, your vocabulary as being letters. Vocabulary? What the fuck are we learning? Why do they need ballerina shoes? So we are we learning words? We're choreographing a beginner Irish dance routine. What? In this example, the fuck? you will use three of She ours said in some, in, oh yeah. Can we watch Trisha Payati's breakdown three. compilations? Well, who's Trisha Payati? Who is that? You ever seen? Band. Nikato Avocado? No, and I'm not watching that because you always bring up some weird shit. It's always some weird shit with you. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Bruce Sterling, and I teach the Joy Jewish dance. Circle dances, line dances, Yemenite dances. Is Trisha Payati is butthole girl. Oh shit! We just got uh, hey, what's up, rated Ryan? with a party of eight by Ryan, and we learning about we learning about twerking. We learned some Japanese. I taught them about some some books. And we gonna watch Trisha Payati and learn about how her butthole got blown out. Aaron, look up Trisha Payati so we can find out how her butthole got burned out. We in this bitch. What's good, press play? Trish, Trisha Payetes is butthole girl. Trish, how the fuck do you pronounce her name? Hey, got the do rags. Oh my god, do rags. Aaron, he ain't teaching us shit. He just some dude. He's some dude in some weird ass hat that's backwards. He's trying to teach me. I want to learn that like low down, fucking stretch the foot out, get down to your glutes thing. Petas. Petas. Trisha Petas. Trisha Petas for eight minutes straight. Hey, this is the girl with the blown out butthole. This is the girl with the blown blown out butthole. Oh my god. (laughs) What did you tell us to watch, Ping? I guess the anal ain't working. That's a ride? That shit pink fabulous. Love this woman. What's good, Six Clouds? No problem. Where the fuck is she from? I've never seen her videos. Who is she here? Where is she from? Her breakdowns be sending me. Is she famous? Is this a famous bitch? Not really. All she do is cry in her bathroom floor and binge eat. She rich as fuck. Damn, she got enough money to cry in her bathroom floor and, bin- and binge eat? <laughs> That's crazy. UCLA. Oh my god. She went to UCLA? Or is that just a girlfriend shirt? Oh my god. Bitch is going through it. Oh my god, yo. <laughs> What well, fuck? What the fuck is wrong with her? I'm not being dramatic. This is the only place with lighting. Cry in the dark, bitch. She's so fake. Oh my god, she's so fake. She and Callie. She used to be a stripper, and she was on my strange addiction. Oh shit. Okay. Yes. She's from YouTube. She made a video on Mitt Romney. Oh my god. You too famous, bitch. She famous as fuck. I never met her. She a Shane Dawson level. That's crazy. She made a video and she was like, 
You guys, I woke up feeling like a chicken nugget. She's the biggest troll. Now settle down. No, she's not. Uh, yeah, it's been famous forever, girl. Where's that bitch? Why we why we not on that bitch no more, bro? I wanted to learn more about her ass. She been famous for years. That was great. Had a good ass laugh. So, why her butthole blown out? Cause she's a strip. What the fuck she be doing? She trying to get into porn? What the fuck does she do? She do porn too? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Because she did too much anal. <laughs> oh my god. Does it, does it work like All that? All she do is eat. Find the one about dog brains. What the fuck you mean, find the one about dog brains? Dog just, brains? Are they trying to be Kardashians? What? What'd she say? Wait, what'd she say? What'd she just say? I ain't hear what she say, but it was something else. She tried to become a reptilian last night. What the fuck is she talking about? This bitch crazy. Oh my god, fine. Um, her butthole ripped and she had to get surgery. That's crazy. What the fuck was she doing in her butt? Damn. Shane is a god on YouTube. She's not the. She's not on that level. Yeah, Shane is definitely a god. My little sister watches him religiously. Look up the one where she's like, do dogs have brains? I don't know which one that is, Ping. Why she be having like 20 different skin tones? Why she got dragon eggs? She trying to be the Narius? Oh, God. Hell no. Nah. Oh, God. We're done. This bitch is rapping. This dude, this bitch is doing slam poetry. We are done. How do y'all find these motherfuckers? She's fire. The big topical question we have going on. We have a big Twitter feud over this. What size is her cup size? Dogs have brains because I like seriously wanted to know. Why she always got a different skin tone every single video? Shane works with her all the time. Cray, cray. So basically behind a cray, cray. What the fuck? That doesn't mean she's on his level, though. She had like six boob jobs. She addicted to tan and Ella. <laughs> That's why she's on my strange addiction. Oh, okay. She's a meme queen. Okay, she a, she an ultimate troll. So she a shit poster. What the fuck is wrong with her? She has a song called I Love You Jesus and all I can say is that she went off. Let's find that song. I'm so beyond scared of fuck it. This bitch is crazy. Got the puppies. Got the pups. The perps. The pups of puppy love. Oh my gosh. She looks like Hill Baskin. Look up Nick. Ca Nick Cotto, Avocado having a mental breakdown. You guys just like to like, watch people suffer. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. This bitch is serious. If that ain't a Sunday dress, I ain't watching. Are you serious? Are you serious? What? What the fuck is she talking about? Why is she doing a Disney musical? What the fuck is this? Oh my god! I like Jesus as my friend better. Oh my god! Jesus is my superstar? I can imagine you deep voice singing this. Yeezer. She made this song and got her butthole blown out. She was definitely saving that special place for Jesus. It all makes sense now. This all makes sense. This this clears up so much speculation. What the fuck? Are, what the fuck is this, bro? This is crazy. This is crazy. Y'all watch her? This is what y'all watch?
What the fuck? Yo, this shit slaps. I can imagine. You okay, I already read that. What the fuck? Uh, bitch, show the backside of that sundress. I'm trying to see it. 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 Yeah, shake it. Shake it. Are you in jeans? Ew. I don't want to listen to this shit. I don't want to listen to this shit. God damn. Shut up. Damn. Aaron. Damn it. Oh, God. I don't fuck with this bitch. This is terrible. Why did she decide to do this? Who told her to do this? Why Aaron had to leave at this moment, bro? I don't fucking know. I lost so many brain cells already. Oh, my God. This shit is unbearable. I love how Aaron left, so we are stuck with it. I'm so fucking weak. You guys are. T hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my first foray into uh, Christian music. No, I did not. This shit was unbearable. I felt like I was hung up on the cross for seven days listening to this shit for seven minutes. You should not have done this song. My mustache done fell the fuck off from listening to that shit. She built a church? No, all those Mexicans build a church. She ain't built that church. Look at look at the bottom of it. She live in California. Them Mexicans built that church. The church of no fucking talent. Definitely no motherfucking talent. You know what? In Minecraft tonight, we might build a church. We might have to build a church. This is shit on her church. No, she was using the song's profit to help build it. Who the fuck is blasting this song? Church of blown out booty, booty hole. That's that's definitely what it is. They all they all uh they all fucking with a uh, booty hole girl. Sarah Nara, go away, bitch. God, she just stopped top talking. Bye guys. God, she annoying as shit. I'm blasting this song. I bet you are. God damn, that bitch was unbearable. You telling me y'all know more people like this? You got a nick nick cop, nick. Nicka avocado motherfucker. Well, I don't know. Shit, I tried. I tried to pronounce it. So that that's the lady. That's the lady with the with the booty hole that been blown out and shit. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Click the link I sent. I wanna click the link I sent that you sent, but it's like I gotta wait for Aaron to come back down. I don't even know where the fuck he went. I'll build the church so we have Mexicans build the church to keep it an even playing field. Thank you, DJ Presby. I love how you always make shit an even playing field. And you think about fair chances for all immigrants. And I don't know. I don't know where the fuck I was going with this, actually. Don't. I forgot. I fucking forgot. I'm making a s Cloud Scudder World collaboration. And I think I just finally found a design that actually works. Frick, Aaron. Click the link I sent. I, I, damn it, Aaron. Where the fuck is Aaron? I don't know what the fuck he's doing, to be honest. He done left me. He done left me in my time. Only lasted like four to five seconds. All right, I got y'all. Y'all want some? Uh, y'all need some entertainment while while we wait for Aaron to get back. So I got you. I'm gonna play your song. Fuck, I can't play this bitch. All right, looks like we shit out of luck. Yeah, sorry guys, y'all came in here and I, I don't have no motherfucking for you. I'm moving that for my watcher's so You should definitely remove it. Um, why the fuck are you on the floor? Why the fuck are you on the floor? Why you sleep on the floor? Ask yourself some. Ask yourself these questions. Don't ask me. But that's not how you use that. That's not how you use what you use, and you know that, and you know what I'm talking about. So you know we both not using something right. So think about that shit at night. Um, Aaron. Paige sent us a link that she would like you to click. But she hating. She hating on me right now. So I'm just going to let her have her little link and tell her to stop hating. I gave you something to love me like the world deserves to love me. Hmm, that's about to be <coughs> interesting. <laughs> what the fuck? 
people that I would also put up with the arrogance because I was brain dead. What? I didn't. What <laughs> the fuck is going on? I had to abandon my child. <laughs> Look at that. Third world country. Look at that bird. Mm-hmm. That bird is fantastic. Damn, that bird is... <laughs> why is the food big? That shit is big as hell. <laughs> why is it so small? Oh. Can you help me? Daddy, there's a lady behind me feeding cats! She's feeding the stray cats! No, no, feed the cats. Stop feeding the cats! Stop feeding the cats! This is what y'all watch? I'm not Paige. I'm Anal Beads. I never said you were Paige. I said Paige and it's a link. You didn't you you fucking slipped up. You done slipped up, caught yourself. Caught your I neck. clicked the link from Anal Beads. What? I clicked the link from Anal Beads. So? I ain't say it was Anal Beads. I sleep on the floor because it's comfortable. Sure. I'm weak. Oh my god, I can't with him. Those first few seconds did it for me. I couldn't proceed. How the fuck do you guys find these people? And why the fuck do you watch this, this shit? I think they're, they're sadists. They have to be fucking sadists. Why would you watch somebody suffer like this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I want those noodles. What noodles were those? I want that. Does he just eat? Does he just eat in front of people and, and rage in the car? <laughs> fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with homie, bro? <laughs> Hemorrhoid in his head, poor baby. Hemorrhoid poor in his head, god damn. This shit is hilarious to me because I love Jesus. I just eats and cries, dude. He just eats and cries, dude. Okay. This is how he decompresses. Bitch, you got other food. I don't know, Where bitch. You got chips. other food. He got so much other food. Chips. Bitch, you got so much food. Aaron, what do you think about this guy? I don't know how much is over-exaggerated, but I'm sure this is a little bit of who he is. But I feel like he also hams it up. If this is a little bit of who he is, I'm concerned for his parents. Um, can, uh, can, we, can, we get, can we go to something else? Yes. Because, please. I think I'd rather get back with my ex than watch this shit. Me too. And I don't, I don't even know about like that. Her. Yeah, I don't even like her. I mean, uh, this is only like like maybe five minutes and it'll be over. You know what I mean? Like getting back in a relationship with someone can be up to a days to weeks to months. Nah, that can be five minutes too. It could be, but <laughs> you still got to go and find them. You don't got to find them. They on Instagram or Snapchat. He used to be vegan and then out of nowhere started doing this shit and gained hella weight and got all crazy. I don't even know. Holy shit, he going through it. Okay, never mind. This man going through it. Damn, he needs to be on meds. Y'all need to get his ass some help. He needs help. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's crazy, bro. Mr. Noodle is cute. Is there a little dog? Yeah, but Mr. Noodle's a bastard. Oh, he dropped it. That's crazy. That's a crazy ass nigga right there. That's some crazy shit. 
right. He used. Oh yeah, I already read that. Most most done. The food though. The food was humongous. I ain't never seen food that big. Them burgers were the size of my. Uh, they were bigger than that nigga's head. Bigger than that nigga's stomach, and he was fat. So that shouldn't make no sense. Like, where do you think he got that food from? Was that Five Guys? What the fuck was that? He had a bigger pizza, mega pizza. Shit was crazy. Fuck, he get that food. I want them damn noodles, though. Thank God that's over. Shit. Thank God for that, too. All right. Shit. Anybody want to play the mayor game? We can play the mayor game. We got enough Um, we got enough watches in this bitch. We can definitely play the mayor game if anybody wants to. Uh, well, speaking of watches, did that one watch from your sponsor ever come? No. Damn. They closed down all the things so they can't ship it. Fuck. Yep. Was it coming from China? It was, I don't know where the fuck it was coming from, but they can't ship it because I want to run for mayor. All right, we got one contestant running for mayor. Who else wants to run for mayor? Mayor game always fun. Who else wants to run for fucking mayor? Let's get some candidates in this bitch. Let's get some candidates. Can we get some candidates? Mayor game, the fuck is that? Paige, you want to run for mayor? It'll be your run. Ma Paige, why don't you run for mayor? It's easy. You just, we give you a problem, you give us a solution, then everybody votes to see if you will make a good mayor. And that's about it. And if you win, you get to be mayor. All right, so we got anal beads, we got ping. So let's see. Let's see who the fuck. Who else? Is anybody else want to run for mayor? Are we good? I think we might be. I think we might have it, Aaron. I think we might have it. I'll run for mayor. DJ Press Play always running for mayor. Okay, we got three candidates. Um, Before that, let's have a cloud ad. All right. Uh, hold on. I gotta go get the cloud shit. Ah, my knees, motherfucking knees. Ooh. In the background, we're playing ants versus bananas. Go to cloud.org, and if you go to cloud.org, those ants swimming. Fuck yeah, they is. What are we watching? Ants versus bananas. I just said that shit. Cloud.org. But there's a delay, so you ask it. All right, so if you go to cloud.org, you can find all these wonderful things. You can find these nice hoodies, which are pretty nice. They're pretty nice. Um, there's a delay, so I got to wait to see what it is on the other side. You can find these nice fanny packs. They're pretty <laughs> nice. There's a delay, so I have to wait to see what's on the other side. Um, you can find these shirts that are not going to be on the site any longer. I'm wearing one of those shirts underneath this shirt right now. You can find these nice hoodies. DJ Pressplay has this red hoodie, and so does Anal Beats. Y'all both have these red hoodies. I got a hoodie and a windbreaker. They got some quality merchandise. Thanks, Mo, for telling me that we have some quality merchandise in them. I like watching bug fight videos. Shit's wild. It's also cruel. Here's a birth of a dead long sleeve shirt. All right. And, uh... Here's another item that I don't know what it is. There is a birth of the dead short sleeve shirt. It's my favorite hoodie, not gonna lie. I'm glad that that's your favorite hoodie. And then here are some bad humans t-shirts. These are all me and my other my other incognito. I have a green hoodie, and so does my homie Louie. I like the green cloud hoodie, because I'm green, gang. Grove Street, bitch. And then on the other side, there's something else, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, there's our famous cloud blanket. These will soon come in black. If you ever wanted a cloud blanket and you wanted it in black, well, rest assured, it's coming soon. And then there's something else on the other side of this. I don't know what the fuck it is. You can go to cloud.org for all this. You can get a black hoodie and you can get a black short sleeve shirt. Some of us have black hoodies. Ryan has a black hoodie. That's right. Um, Yo, yeah. them ants are taking a minute to eat that. Banana. Them ants is not doing well against this banana. And then we got beanies. We got cloud beanies of all types. Them ants fucking suck. Come on, man. I want to be done with this shit. And then we got some flip-flops on the site. Also, if you want some cloud flip-flops. Come on. These ants is fucking it up. Come on. Um, What else? What else? And then we got some uh, we got some cloud crop tops for the ladies. They're pretty nice. I love them. I made, I drew them myself and organized them myself. Then we got some more cloud short sleeves. That banana brown now. That's why they don't want it. It's fucking gross. It took too long to fucking eat it. They, t they fucking slow. And then now it's going backwards. It's going fucking backwards. We got other cloud crop tops. I like the rainbow one. The rainbow one is my favorite. It's right this one. Um, and then, and then, uh, what else do we have? We just have a bunch of we have cloud crop tops and other stuff. Anyway, the banana's done. That's enough for the cloud ad. Let's get on with it. Yeah. 
God damn. All right. So let's let's uh let's get on to uh, this mayor game. So today Hold we up. have three candidates. Oh shit. I wasn't ready for that. We're back. Ah, so we're back. And today we have three candidates for the mayor game. We have one contestant named Anal Beats, another contestant named Ping, and another contestant named Press Play. So let's get into it. I love getting two ads after the cloud ad. <laughs> I got an ad. I'm back now. Okay. <laughs> Aaron, do you have do you have a circ <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a circumstance or no? Or should I come up with one? Who me? Yeah. Um A local town has come down with a bad case of homicide and the water is starting to get polluted for a bad disposal of the bodies. And now the runoff is coming to your town as mayor. How you re how will you filter your water to keep it clean and safe for your community, and will you also do anything about the bad case of homicide in the other town over? You got bad water and you got bad homicide. You got a case of it. Figure that shit out. Um, type your answers into the chat, and then we will hold an election or vote. I'm eager to hear everyone's stances on this issue. As you should be. As you motherfucking should be. My head. I don't care about my head. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about my head. Fuck him. Ah, please. Where is... So, that's 43 inches in. And this is a total of... I told my sister to do this shit yesterday. She couldn't figure out how to do fucking math. Thank you, everyone who is doing Thank you. Thank you for the, everyone who is in the stream. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. You, you all matter to me on multiple levels, levels. Multiple levels mean I know some of you better than I know others, and I hang out with some of you more than I hang out with others, and that's just how it's going to be. Multi-level friendship system. Yep, and that's, that's basically what we're working on. Multi-levels of friendship, and you're all a part of it. How does that make you feel? Make you feel wonderful. Makes me feel wonderful. I feel wonderful. I feel great. My little sister could not fucking... All she had to do was make a piece of paper so we could start drawing and separating the wall and get the shit done. She couldn't figure that shit out. I'm like, so were you, were you guys trying to take like a big piece of paper and kind of scale down the walls in your room to the paper so you can draw a design to figure out what you want so then you can put it on the walls Motherfucking and scale exactly. it up? She couldn't figure out that we're 43 inches into one section of the wall and we have 120 inches of the wall to work with. So, or feet. Yeah, inches actually. So basically, it's four by twelve. So you just use it's forty, forty, forty. You just split the paper up into threes. You section it off. It's easy. You just scale it down. She ain't know how to. She ain't know how to use simple math to break down the ratios for the paper, so we could put it on another piece of paper, to to kind of for the wall. Put it on a piece of paper so we can get a rough draft of what we want to do. Basically. Yes. And I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Ain't you take a fucking class? Ain't I was looking at class? a beautiful math question. Oh, already. shit. Rex McKinnis in this bitch. Oh, shit. Rex, you want to run good, for Rex? mayor? Well, we already, they already started. I Okay. Anal Bead said she would keep the bodies in the water. After a while, everybody going to be immune to it. Let the people kill the serial killer. Let it be the community together. Eat the body in communion. In communal sacrificial ritual. I like that answer. That is a pretty good answer. It's a fun answer, but it doesn't solve the water pollution crisis. It does not solve the water pollution crisis. That part I did not like, but I did like the part where she said... What's good, good, players? What's good, Rex? What time did y'all go to bed last night? Yeah. I hate everyone here. It's like, nah. <laughs> What's good, he made Rex? He ain't made Rex for long because there will be a new election tonight. What's good, players? 
Well, he kind of stepped down once he found out the name of the town he ran for. What? It's always some Charmander shit. Yeah, he did. He does. He didn't like the name him. Really. I'm gonna use Charmander to boil all the water and evaporate. Oh, evaporate it. Then use their neighborhood Pidgeys. What? Okay, I guess it's a Pokemon <laughs> to blow oh, away. Oh, Pidgeys. Pidgeys to blow to blow away all the debris and trash. Then use the Squirtles to refill the area with clean water. Also, from the homicide, I'll resurrect XXX and Tayshon, and all murders will catch hands from him, and he will wear their blood as war paint. That is, that is one of his best answers I've ever heard him give. That, that that's actually, a really good answer. That is a really fucking good answer. DJ Pressplay might be winning this one. Yeah, he might have that one in the bag. Okay, ping. Okay, so would you, I would say fuck the town over, and we will have to wait till the people in that town over dies after... That then we take over their town and combine it, and since there is so much homicide going on, we will be able to easily take that town over. Aww. And then start taking the bodies out the water and put them in the ground after the water is free from the bodies. We can filter it and slowly get the water back to normal. See, here's your mistake. You guys are thinking the bodies are in the water. It's just there's so much homicide, there's improper burial happening. Some might be in the water, others just got thrown into the ground and they're getting into the groundwater. The point is, these bodies are not being disposed of properly and it will affect your water. Yep, that is the point. All right, it does. But that is, um. It does solve it. It's not pollution if we all immune to dead bodies. It's a cannibalistic society. Keep an open mind, Aaron. I didn't go to bed till 7 a.m. Sheesh. Jeez. I went rest. to sleep after the session, but I didn't fall asleep until like 4 a.m. Sheesh. I literally just woke up. Wow. Fine. Burn them all. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go with DJ Pressplay for my vote. I'm going to go with DJ Pressplay also. You guys can vote also. I'm going to put my vote with Pressplay for me. His one used adorable Squirtle. Yep. That shit was immaculate. That was a great, that was a great fucking, a great answer. Use three Pokemon together. Press play. Got Great it. Answer. Mo votes press play. Yep. Pokemon worked this time. <laughs> Pokemon definitely. He definitely used the Pokemon sensibly. Usually he don't use them sensibly. Oh, Ping even voted for press play. Damn. Wow. I'm going to have to vote for DJ press play as well. I think okay, press play is about to win this in a landslide. It's about to be a huge landslide. Well, we got 11 people in here. Anyone else want to vote? I feel like there's just people lurking. There's tons of people fucking lurking in this bitch. I'll just lurking, touching your pants, aren't you? You're that good your old pants. Carol fucking Baskin puss. Carol Baskins. I vote Ping. We got one vote for Ping from wow. Anal Bees. Anal Bees voted for Ping, even though Ping went with press play. Wild. That is now I want to change my vote to Anal Beats. Aww. That is this so sounds nice. like collusion. This is definitely collusion. Well, they both lose anyway. DJ Pressplay, <laughs> how do you feel about being mayor? Do you want to give a? Do you want to just like a, Hillary Clinton? You cheated and lost. Yep. <laughs> well, Ping, I'm hurt. Anyway, DJ Pressplay, you have one mayor. How do you feel? What, do you want to give a speech? This is your first time ever being mayor, I assume, or this second? I don't know. This is actually your first time actually winning mayor. Um, very well, without without with a very good answer. This is this is a landslide victory for you. How do you feel? I know he's won before, but I feel like I feel like it was because your answer was too barbaric. I feel like he's won before also. But it was probably like back in November. I guess it's been a while. I think so. Man, well, we've I been doing the mayor game a long time. I think it was like, had to be, I don't know. I like the mayor game. The mayor game's a fun ass game. But yeah, press play, got it. Oh shit, it's 420. Fucking 420 and 420. 420, 420, 420. 420, 20, 20, 20. The time was 4.20 on April 20th, 2020. Oh, I'm sorry it had to be done. Uh, okay, I'm just waiting on this speech for press play. But this is this has been a really good... Uh, Gosh, if someone does not take advantage of getting a confirmed homicide or at least an arrest for homicide at 4.20 p.m. on the 20th, they, 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 they really blew it. Because that's a good one. I the time great. of death. I like to thank the fans. Also, follow me on IG, Pressplay999, because I'm your mayor and I demand it. That is not how this works. Yeah. <laughs> that is not how this works. <laughs> I'm your mayor and I demand it. That is not how this works. I, I like that slogan. Imagine that on a bumper sticker. Vote Pressplay. 
He's your, I'm your mayor and I demand it. <laughs> Approved by DJ Press Play for mayor. Approved by DJ Press Play for mayor. God damn. Y'all bugging. I swear to God. Once we got that time, y'all be fucking bugging. And then they said no. You look like a kid at a restaurant. You see, you tell people to do shit and they always going to say no. I keep trying to tell you, you want to persuade them with cookies. Persuade them with stuff they want. What kind of cookies though? Birds. What? Birds. Who? Birds. What? Birds. 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 A bird cookie. Yep. I'm going to pass on that one. Yeah. Unless there's any beak in it. Yes. Yo, who here in this fucking, this goddamn stream got Borderlands 3? Just going to throw that out real quick if anyone wants to ever play. Just going to cough, 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 you know? You know you what I mean? With Kevin? I could play with Kevin, but I feel like he's a little too tryhard in video games. No, he's not tryhard. He's, he's thorough. Thorough? We are thorough when we play video games. We're not trying. Sounds hard. like uh We're not gonna be mean to you if you fuck up. We we try just, hard just don't have to be mean, but it also no, seems we like just, we just don't sleep. We don't sleep until the game is finished. I feel like if I just wander off high as shit, I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff. What do you mean? I I in open world type games, I have a tendency of smoking too much weed and then forgetting what I was doing. Um Or when I found out in Borderlands three, there's a lot of shit you're just not allowed to do yet. And I've ended up dying three times now trying to do badass shit. And the game was like, death barrier, can't do that. And I was like, wow. Then I cried and cut myself for six hours. Well, shit. It's pretty cool. I almost got a whole um, arm, whole flower now. Uh, like in your arm? Yeah, just you can't do it continuously if you want to get like the layers of the tulips. So you have to cut, wait for it to heal a bit, and then go at it again with a thinner blade so it doesn't get as open and gashing. It's we're it really is a process because if you fuck up, man, you might as well get a skin graft. You talking about cutting yourself right here? Um, is that not allowed yet? I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about that shit on stream. Well, self harm is a touchy subject. I don't condone it. Self harm is definitely a touchy subject because you got. I've stabbed myself in the thigh on accident before, and I watched like fat ooze out of it, and I was like, "Dude, that's creepy." Wait, fat oozed out of it? I guess, like some like yellowy green goo just started oozing out of the cut instead of blood, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" Ew. And then the older I got, they started like being like, "This is what fat looks like, and this is what muscle looks like." Ew. Blah 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 blah, and I was like, "That looks like what came out of my body when I was a kid and stabbed myself." This is a very, uh, this is a talk that I think is for another time, not this time. Bird Cookies 2020, I'm weak. I do everything but the main mission in open world games. Because you procrastinate. What kind of yeah. cookies, birds? I'm I still got to beat Spider-Man. So I'm like a, I'm a. Th That's why it took me so long to beat Spider-Man. Third of the way through with Spider-Man. I got to get back at it. The problem is every time I play it, um, I Ooh, get I got distracted. a phone call from Jonathan. It gets just way too corny. Hold on. Just can't handle the corny cutscenes. But I want to know the story, so I don't want to skip What's up, bro? Em. You're live on, on uh, Real Shit right now, painting with friends. Do you realize a radiation act detector will not work because our phones are not designed to detect radiation? That is not how radiation works. Is it? It. It. It's not. But it's not like a. It, isn't it like an energy though, more than a wave? Like it's not like a signal that gets beamed from a tower. It's like an energy that can be emitted from anything. Can you send me the app that you're using? All right, bet. Let me get that bitch. It's, it's going to be... Fuck yeah. That's crazy. You got the you got the bird links with the birds is dropping. Yeah. You 
got the bird box. Okay, play that. Let's get that. Send me that link too. We gonna send that shit. We gonna put that bitch up. Fuck yes. Thank you, Cuzzo. This is lit. Yeah, because you would need yeah. a Geiger counter. And what would Geiger counters measure? All right, Cuzzo. I'll see you. That's crazy. Why does dude sound like a serial killer? I don't know. Oh, shit. The stream froze for me. That's crazy. Uh, this 5G shit again. I'm tired of the 5G shit, but I guess it's a thing that people aren't going to let go. So Here's the thing. Let's just indulge. It, it, there's a possibility those towers might be doing some problems. Those Here's the thing, might. though. I need all, I, all I'm asking for people to provide is just more scientific data to back it up. Like if you have videos of birds falling, go and collect those birds all over the country or world where you see that happening. Take them to your local vets and try and find the cause of death. Do they have increased like radiation type poisoning or something? You know what I mean? Just go that extra mile so it's not just hearsay evidence. That's all I want. Like Everyone's like, look at these, t uh, look at these towers. Look at these towers. We'll buy some proper Geiger counters. Go to the towers and let's find out what they're emitting, yep. and then go to a normal cell tower and see what it emits. Like, yep. this is how you have to do a proper scientific study of this shit. You can't just go around like, cause they could be doing something wrong, but I just I need more proof than just hearsay is the problem. Cause this so far it's just people here. It's just people hearing stuff, seeing shit, and then they react instantly on it. Instead Listen, of like we the scientific had, method being we don't put have into 5G place. for like a couple of years now. Yeah, and there's also that like we the thing I never understood is we live in the DMV with yeah, we, it's we basically government this. headquarters. Wouldn't yeah, they we, want the best of the had, best network here? We've been 5G for a long ass period of time, so you know it's it's um, it's whatever. That's also know. that was another thing that never that I always got confused. I saw someone like post an Infowars video where they were showing a map of the coronavirus outbreaks in America and then the map of 5G towers in America, and so I was <laughs> the only so thing that confused me. Or is it the new towers that they're putting up? That's the problem. Well, the only thing that confused me is like, if this is all a problem now, why, why aren't they talking? Why did like all of this break out in one city in China when multiple cities in China have five G? All right, and I'm sending you the information on Facebook. Man, it sounded like the cousin that works for the Pentagon. But, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Man, it sounded like the cousin that worked for the Pentagon. He do sound like the cousin that worked. Hey, for thanks for following Six Clouds. Thank you, Six Clouds. Would you send clouds. it on Facebook? Yeah, I sent it on Facebook. So we're going to watch some birds fall out the motherfucking sky. This shit going to be lit. You just sent me the link to the app, bro. I sent you the link to the app and the link to the YouTube oh. video. Just in case you wanted to play with the app also. You know me. I cover all bases. Or one base. And then I don't cover any more. Remember when the iPod and phone first came out and they had all these stupid apps to detect shit even though it never actually worked but people would just use them? Like, oh, I can like, see you feel like, stressed. Like the, the app's going blue or whatever. Like, like the ghost, the ghost finder, the ghost. Yeah, detective. shit like that. Oh or, God. or like where the X-ray app, where you just put the camera in your hand and you can see through it and shit. Uh, that shit was funny. Cause here's another thing, right? Birds have fallen out of the sky many times throughout the past, I think, two to three decades. We have footage of this. This is yep. actually like a reoccurring yep, it thing. It happens. They will so get hit. they will get hit by sonic booms. They will get hit by like yeah little things that we just don't understand yet. We still have no answer for it. Like again, I'm not you know I'm not dismissing all of this. I'm just saying we need like the scientific method to be put in place. Cause yeah, again, I've definitely heard of birds falling out of skies for decades now. It's just a thing that happens. But here's uh, here it is. Here's one of them. Oh, we get to watch the birds? Are they going to fall? Or are they just finding dead bodies? Yeah, they're only finding the birds already on the ground most of the time, I think. I've seen a couple videos where the birds did fall off like buildings, but... Come on, show me the dead birds falling out the shit. What's that one about? Huh? Why is the dead drops Why is it only birds? Why am I not finding like dead squirrels laying around on the ground too? Like, wouldn't they be affected the same? They're both small rodents. Yes, they would. 
Unless we have a new type of influence. Oh, wait. They did just discover a new type a new of influenza. A new bird flu. Oh, my in God. In Thailand. And Holy shit. Crazy. And they're scared of the new type of bird influenza that just popped up, which can kill more people than the COVID-19, which they have concerns about. And ain't guess what? Crazy. We also talked about it on our podcast four weeks ago. Wow. Ain't that crazy? Well, all right. Fadji. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I like I don't want because everyone just quickly dismisses it's, me. It's just five G, though. It's five G. Yeah, but everyone it's, always is like, oh, clear, people are so quick to dismiss. It's clearly not the thing that we were talking about fucking four weeks ago with the new strain of bird influenza and bird flu, which no one seemed to care about. Yeah. And they don't have. Which, that's the scary one because bird flu kills a lot of fucking bird, people. Bird flu will wipe us the fuck out. Which is uh, which I suspect some of this COVID thing might be them also reacting to the bird flu because if they said another bird flu was about to outbreak, people probably would have fucking panic, panic. Oh, but if they saw it was just like like a normal flu that probably won't kill a lot of people, just stay indoors. People won't panic, panic, but they'll be like, this is kind of bullshit. But like, I feel like, because bird flu, people have bird lived through bird dangerous. flus. Nah, bird, influenza is the most dangerous thing in the fucking planet. You but think, You think corona's crazy, man. Bird flu. Will wasn't the last one in like 03 or something? The last bird no, flu No, the thing? last like, bird flu was in 2007. Like a mild one in 2007? That was a dangerous one. Then we had the swine flu that followed right after. And then in 2012, we had another bird flu. And swine there. flu killed and then a fuck ton of people. And they were wondering, they're like, the world's ending, the birds are falling out the sky. And I was like, nigga, that's bird flu. That's what birds will drop the fuck out the sky. They'll all get it. And they'll all, like, the virus will run through them all at the same time. And they'll all, like, once one of them drops, they'll stay around the body. And then they'll all just start dropping. Also, I'm pulling up a thing too. if we want to learn how Geiger counters work. <laughs> he said birds ran out of battery. <laughs> the government had to. Oh yeah, because because <laughs> of the <laughs> shutdown, because of the <laughs> shutdown, no one could get out to replace the batteries. Five G equals Corona. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that is that is legit avian flu. That shit is the most dangerous thing on the motherfucking planet, it's the, and that's a real fucking thing to be concerned about. That is no motherfucking joke. Watch out for avian. You want to learn what a Geiger counter is to see if this app is really worth it? Shh, uh, not really. I'd rather just watch booty shaking more. But okay, they, that's why you want us to stay inside. I mean, I can just read it if we don't want to watch a video. I'd rather just read it. 1928 by Dr. I don't want to watch this video. Okay. Um. I can pull it up too. Okay, let's do that. Geiger counters are used to detect radio emissions, most commonly beta particles and gamma rays. The counter consists of a tube filled with an inert gas. I'm pretty sure most of our phones are not filled with gas. Nope. That becomes conductive of electricity when it is impacted by a high energy particle. When a Geiger counter is exposed to ionizing radiation, the particles penetrate the tube and collide with the gas, releasing more electrons. Positive ions exit the tube, and the negatively charged electrons become attracted to a high voltage middle wire. Wire reaches a threshold, it creates an electric current. This causes the temporary closing of a switch and generates an electric pulse that is registered on the meter, either acoustically as a click that increases in intensity as the ionizing radiation increases, or visually as a motion of a needle pointer. Radioactivity be you should always uh, invest in Bitcoin. Radioactivity can be measured Bitcoin is awesome. in order to discover the amount Leather. of radiation a material emits or the I amount of Bitcoin. radiation absorbed by a human or mammal. The unit of radiation absorbed by a human or mammal is the unit of measuring radioactive emissions. What? Wait, what? Ah. The unit for measuring the radioactive emissions is the Bequery? BQ. The BQ indicates the number of decays per second. The Rionta, what the What's fuck? good, JJ? To make the Rowan Rowan equivalent in man rem is an older standardized unit for, for measuring absorbed dose. The MREM one hundred one thousandth of that unit is the unit used today in medicine. And we're losing them. Fuck this shit. Hey, I'm trying to just fucking hey, cool it. Get rid of these conspiracy people, bro. Dog, we're not gonna get rid of conspiracy people. We not get rid of them, but like just try and bring some obvious shit to this. We're not going to get rid of them. They've been like this forever, and they're going to stay like this. They read memes. They own their smartphones. They don't do research. Themselves. That, even even like, the app he sent you says electromagnetic radiation, like those ghost finder things. Yeah, an EMF machine. Yep, like like a ghost radiation, a ghost detector. So, yeah, um, bro, why you look so lost? I'm always so lost because I'm lost as to why the fuck we're looking up uh, radiation detectors and concerns to 5G and birds. 
and it's like just get a radio, just get a fucking radiation detector. You, you get a real of. Geiger counter. Yeah, get a real Geiger counter. Because it sounds like it, there's a special gas that interacts with the radioactive particles that Bitcoin. sets it off. Why not get some fucking Bitcoin? I don't know. Um, but what else was I gonna say? I don't know. Conspiracy people be blowing me sometimes, bro. Bro, that's that's their point. They're supposed to blow people up. That's what conspiracy people do. You gotta understand. If that's their job. No, the, the sad spreads. truth is a majority of them believe it. It's not their job to troll. It's for them to really believe this stuff and slow down. Yeah, like con- conspiracy people are like almost like the new religion, where like all you're doing is slowing down the progress of like our species. Like religion slows down a lot of our progress. Sure, sure, we have had a lot of technological advances because of religion, although that was mandated and forced, and I'm sure we could have gotten a lot better without it. Considering people are already practicing and studying means to do what we found, religion just mandated how they wanted it. But I don't know. Well, religion is just I don't know. That's a different. That's a whole different sea monster. Yeah, but I don't you like know. To get into. Whew. Um. That tinfoil hat group gets funny sometimes too. Wh- what do you guys believe? What are some facts that you guys have looked up on five G in relation to Corona and birds? Like, what what do you guys believe? Do you guys uh? Do you guys do your own <laughs> research, or do you just look I at still memes love the on your birds phones? Ran out of battery one. Do you guys believe that um, the government is just keeping us inside so they can put the batteries back in the birds? What's, what's <laughs> that? What do you think? Let me know. Let me know. Um, I know. Oz, I all I know is I got LTE. Life is good. Wait, that's LG. I don't know what LTE. Six cloud put a tentacle. Y'all think we are? Uh, y'all think we gonna get attacked by aliens soon? Like, let me know. Give me all your conspiracy theories that you have as of right now. This man said, not going to lie, I be murking villages when I'm bored. Minecraft and GTA bring out the worst to me. You a villain on the inside, Mo. I swear to God. Man, I wish we had GTA on the same console, Mo. That was, uh, that was Loner. Loner Avenue on Twitter. That's oh, what he said. never mind. I will not be playing GTA with him or Grand Theft Auto because he, he sounds like he does some reckless shit. They wanted to crash the market. Ooh, interesting. Why? Why do you think they wanted to crash the market? Let me get all the conspiracy theories. Let's let's do it. Let's just have a conspiracy theory moment. Fuck it. Let's just go hard in them. Somebody put the baby up against XX and Tashian in a fight. The baby's obviously going to win. The other nigga did. <laughs> uh, unless he somehow rolls over on the baby and suffocates it. <laughs> nah, the like baby. the baby hits him and just kind of rolls over a little bit. The baby. The rapper. Oh, oh. The rapper. I thought you meant like, uh, okay, never mind. Let me know. How the fuck is my camera? You win. I never understood rappers that beat up people and get famous for it. But you know that's the thing. I've got so many conspiracy theories. Well, you know when you don't I've have a talent. Up 5G since 3G. Well, let it. Let us hear them. Fuck it. Let us hear all of them. I think we were aliens that crashed on Earth, lost our memory, and can't get back to our planet. I popped out my mama's vagina, and I watched most of my siblings being born at my mama's vagina. So. uh I don't know about that one. All I'm going to say regarding this outbreak is we probably not going outside in a long minute. Yeah. yeah. I like that idea, Ping, but the problem is if we if we eventually open everything back up and we don't change our habits, it's just going to get bad again. Like, you know, doing this for just a few months or a year will not make any real impact. It's too hot in my room, so I can't think clearly. It's 68 degrees outside. Open the window. That's very nice outside, bro. Sadly, it, there's no wind. It's 73, according to my If they make phone. a vaccine, who's taking it? Um, the elderly and babies? Looks like Adam and Eve, LOL. Inject us with nanotechnology. What? Do you know how expensive oh, and risky like that would be, though? Adam and Eve. Well, here's the thing about Adam and Eve and aliens. If you and only also, have two things in the species, you're going to get a very diluted um, DNA pool. So. I feel like pe- people are forgetting this is almost like a worldwide thing and a lot of other world governments are not like insanely corrupt and like against their citizens like oh, America yeah. is. Italy started murking people, I was just like, yeah, it must be bad. Italy would never yeah, do Yeah, but that. Italy I can't count Italy. They're they're like number one allies with fucking China. They're they're still pretty authoritarian, like 
but like when you look at like Germany and other European and uh, Scandinavian type countries, even Australia, even Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, Thailand, like for the most part, a lot of them don't like just say fuck you to the citizens. They really want people to be alive. Japan's iffy, you know, they have a very long history of sketch, but all countries do, but now modernly. Yeah. You know, Germany has a history For too. Everybody but everybody be linked up on this, the world don't usually agree, agree on everything at once. Because they want to inject us with nanotechnology, bro. Do you think the government give a fuck enough about you to want to know where you are 24-7? Nigga, yeah, your, own government parents, know? your own parents don't want to. You are not famous. They do not give a shit. Yeah, why would the government even want to know? The nobody government gets cares. swapped out every, like, 50 years. So. Yeah, nobody gives a shit about who, where everybody is, Neuralinks. Yo, Elon speaking Musk of something, I was, watching, um, I was watching a podcast with, like, Michael, uh, Michael Weinstein or some shit like that. Yeah. Not, not related to, the, like, the sex offender movie, dude. But, um, fucking, he was talking about how, like, whoever wins the presidency will still be the oldest president we've ever had, ever. Whoever wins it this year. All of them were born in the mid 40s to early 50s. Old ass niggas. Like, they will be the oldest presidents we have ever had. That alone should so- should show how psychotic and fucked our country has gotten. That we are battling it out between people who were born basically right after the Great Depression. Or, if you want to be technical, people who were technically literally born right after, like, World War II. They're baby boomers. Like,. It's kind of wild when you think about it. And then These will be the oldest people ever for president, no matter who gets who it wins. to make sure they all reincarnate because they all dying real fast, so they got to make a corona baby boomers so they all get reincarnated. I got it. That's it. They gotta, th- you got to die to be reincarnate. Re- you got to die to be reincarnated. They so all got to die right now, so they got to kill them all off. So they injecting themselves with some, some poison they call it corona. They're killing off all the old people so then they can fuck. Make babies, and then they're gonna they're gonna make they're gonna have some babies, and the babies are gonna get reincarnated with the boom, baby boomer souls, and then and in a hundred years we just gonna have the same bullshit happen again. There's so many flaws in that. It's a conspiracy theory, man. It's not supposed to be airtight. Goddamn. You still need to be raised by those type of people to want to go into that position. Pink said exactly. That's why it has been so many new shit. Just this is the first time we have to have to be in our house. Okay. Neuralink's Elon Musk is an AI puppet. He might be. We have superpowers. We just don't know how to access them. I've been thinking a lot. What yeah, type of superpowers? Do care a lot. What? No, six clouds that other countries do care about their people. Like what? we're one of the few countries who really just doesn't give a fuck. What type of superpowers do you think we have? Um, globalists. I used to want to be a globalist. Yes, they do. Use our data to te- to sell us shit. Well, then the data companies want to sell us shit. What the fuck does that help with nano? How are you going to put nanos in my blood to help me sell me shit? Like, what the fuck are you going to sell me? Iron? Also, I never... Iron, here's the thing I never iron. understood. Like, we, we all understand how stupid the average American... First of all, it was Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. The worst... And you... Here's the thing. You, you can say... Thing. You can say all you it's want. The media years. manipulated people. Blah, 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 blah. And you want to know what I'm going to say to that? If, that if, if all of that was media manipulation... That shows how not only stupid the American public is, but that the government does not need to spend X amount of money to brainwash us with actual injections and shit. Like, they don't need to do all this weird fucking shit. We're already dumb sheep to begin with. Like, I, people give too money. much credit for how smart they think people are. Yeah. Like, the average population most of the time votes against their own interests just because something's worded a little bit different. Do you really want more food for everybody in your community, or do you want more money? Because if we put instance, more food in your community so everybody can eat, we're going to no. raise your taxes. Here's the, here's the I best one. I my taxes raised. Let some niggas starve. No, here's the best one. It's the Medicare for All one, right? How the media always pointed Medicare for All was, uh, Bernie Sanders wants to give Medicare for All, but you know he's going to get rid of all of your insurance. And then everyone's like, what? I don't want to lose my insurance. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They don't say... You realize with Medicare for All, you will no longer need insurance. They will be cut out of the equation. You will go to any doctor you want, and the government will pay for it. And then you just pay more in taxes, though that more in taxes would be less than you actually paid with normal insurance. And you also get covered on everything under Bernie's plan, at least. Other countries probably better. You get cancer, you're motherfucking straight now, unless you want to choose a private company. Um... Let's look at this big ass chunk that DJ Prince, DJ Prince. Did. Leaks. Oh man, have you been following the Julian Assange bullshit? Uh, six clouds. 
fucking gosh, that's a tragedy. Also, one of my friends works in the Secret Service, and he told me some shit. Why are he telling you shit if he's supposed to be a Secret Service? Basically, he told me that they wanted to test martial law and use this as an opportunity to test it. And they are using suicides and untimely deaths to boost the number of deaths from the coronavirus to make it seem much more deadly than it is. A That's friend in the true. Secret Service told you that? You do realize Secret Service that people... That has actually been confirmed by multiple people that they are using um, different deaths and they're writing different things on death certificates and that they are practicing martial laws in different parts of the world. And this could be like... That actually is... It doesn't seem to be masculine and they're not taking it as seriously as they could, but it does seem like they are testing all of these things. I can corroborate with hearing multiple things about that. Yeah, no, I don't believe that because why, why would a Secret Service agent... Like, I don't no. know why a Secret Service Yeah, like, no, not a that Secret Service agent, right. bro. That No, that guy's said, a terrible Secret Service agent. Information he just said, it kind of corroborates. Don't these people else. normally have to just pretty much abandon their family for, like, as long as they work there type shit? Like, Fuck yeah, this is basically your life up. now. Yeah, you shouldn't be shocked. And you're just going to give away you're that big a terrible secret? secret Service. You're telling people shit like that. Talk to, talk to your old people. They're the closest record to actual history. Yeah, they be telling me lots of shit. Especially shit about Jesse Jackson. Fuck that nigga. To think we got here because someone called Sir Hazington while speaking in exponents. Yep, that's how life is. That's how motherfucking life is. Ooh, pretty much. Yep. The Democratic Party sabotaged Bernie. Yes, they did. And there's proof behind that. Oh, 100%. They even admitted it. So that's, that's, again, why I hate that people are like, well, we still got to vote Democrats to get rid of Trump. And I'm like, you do realize they are actively against you at every turn. Telepathy. Tele- 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 like like right when this whole corona shit started, started and like states started going to lockdown, Demo- the, that whole Democratic Party, like Nancy Pelosi and shit, was still like, no, just go out and vote. It's okay. Even though states are going into lockdown and telling you not to go to crowded places, go fucking vote. One of the most crowded places you can have. Standing in a line at a voting booth touching the same shit. He said the reason he killed Minecraft villages is because it all started when he needed the bed and bro wouldn't let him take it. <laughs> so he had to kill him. Who said that? I loaned him on fucking Twitter. Um, te- isn't telepathy and telekinet- telekinetic abilities like the same thing? Or is telekinetic abilities just to move shit and telepathy is just the, the yeah, ability to talk to Yeah, I think telekinetic is actually moving objects and telepathy is... Do you know how fucking gross it would be to talk to somebody, to hear people's thoughts? Merging. Yeah, I te- that shit would be gross. Telepathy always seemed dumb as shit to me because I'm just like, I like my own damn thoughts. Why the here, fuck do I want to here's the big plot hole in that. That's how does it gross. fucking work? Like, if you're in a crowded place, wouldn't you hear everyone's thoughts? How do you just zone it out? And like, you gonna hear some rapey, you gonna hear some rapey rape shit. Like, I don't even like my own thoughts. Have you ever just sit on a bus with shit. headphones? You still hear everyone. Like, yeah, I'm trying to listen to a little Uzi and this nigga thinking about like, fucking, I'm gonna fuck this bitch tonight. She gonna give me the time of her life. And his mom sitting right next to him. I'm just like, nigga, what? That's your mom. Like, you're going to hear some weird shit. You get fucking tele- tele- telepathy. Super strength has been... You can actually do super strength if you pass your limiters, which is an adrenaline rush that sometimes mothers and human oh, beings will have. Eight-hour Minecraft tactics. videos live on YouTube now, or at least published or processed. It's debunked. They were emails and things linked. Depends on the person and their upbringings, maybe even DNA. If Bro, we get super eight powers, hours and 50... This is the longest video I think I've ever uploaded, ever. Fuck yeah. No, no, wait. Do, we do have 10 hours of bitch. <laughs> is that 10 hours? How long did we do that one for? Is it even still up? Oh, yeah, no, we got... Oh, is it one hour, not ten? Oh, it's one hour of this. I'm some motherfucking super prize. How do you think you get the super prize, Jay Mike? Um, WikiLeaks people wanted Bernie. What happened to Julian? Who's Julian? The Julian Assange, the uh, the creator of WikiLeaks, Assange. Oh, that's the best he got a, a arrested and now he brought to America to be tried for. How the fuck do I focus my powers? Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, bitch nigga, bitch nigga, whole nigga, bitch nigga, snitch nigga, old nigga, bitch nigga, snitch nigga, old nigga. I want some motherfucking superpowers, so I need to I need to figure out how to focus these motherfucking powers. He is technically Secret Service, but he isn't one of the people that abandons his family and shit. He is one of the decoy 
cars and rides around scouting out areas. The president is oh he's he's fodder. He's cannon fodder. I forgot. And so they what would it let someone called, that, that still Service. connected to the community know something that powerful. Bro, DJ sn- stop snitching on the Fed. Is that even funny? He said stop snitching on the Fed. Snitch on his ass. <laughs> Snitch on him. Fuck it. Oh God. Yeah, I also don't understand the testing. Mar- like, this is what I never understood. What is the point of grinding society to a like apocalyptic halt? When you don't need to. Like, just what is the end goal of that? What is the end goal of martial law when no one can escape their houses? Why would you, like, literally, what is the end goal to that? Why would you do that? Why would you make your whole species miserable for what? Why? Like, you're cutting down production. Like, I just, these are the things I never understood. It's just, what is the final outcome for that if you do not need to do it? Well, when um, when uh, Washington had used it, it was to test America's military so he could become like he could show that he had control over all the states and he could put down any like um what's it called when people uprise he could put down any uprisings in the united states and the army was capable of doing that but nowadays there's no purpose for it you can definitely put anything down there's just no purpose for it there's no purpose to do martial law this is not no and i also this we have a here's also another we, thing we people police the world you don't need the police here here's another Done. thing people don't want to fucking accept like the us government has had drone technology for decades now so like all those people are like you know you also need guns to protect yourself from government tyranny like what technology so like, you do realize like we they all have like the government has drones now they don't even need like some fucking 20 year old in a in a factory controlling the drone they're all like autopilot self control like they don't need anyone you just need a few people flicking the switches, and those drones will kill every citizen they want. Yep. Without any, like, you know, fucking normal soldier who went through boot camp in college and all that controlling it in some warehouse. Like, we're fucked. If you if you ever wanted to go against the U.S. government alone, you're fucked. So stop. Yeah, you, you, you just stop using the defend against tyranny defense on it. Because if the U.S. government and military ever really wanted to attack you, you are fucked. You're never going to win that battle. Ever. We have stealth bombing capabilities that can knock your only your bedroom out in like a whole neighbor, just your bedroom, yep. and you would no one would ever see it coming, even if you had the best of radar the detection is, for some reason. What, what technology do you think they would want to test in a martial law on their own citizens? Like, what technology could it be? It has, it has to be something so covert, like. Inside but why on a mass like, level? Even the CIA tests on small village, like small towns and shit. Yeah, like, like, why would you do it at a mass level? There's just no reason. And I guess maybe because we live in, like, government central, the DMV, like, I just look at this more rationally. Like, bro, like, I'm sure, like, almost 60% of, I guarantee you it's more than 60% of most of the people in the DMV are either government employees or a majority of their family, or at least their family are government employees. Like, yep, and they're pissed off. They're being affected, too. So like, like, there's like, not, who, who are you testing on? there's very few people who, are you gonna do martial law on if it's who has no connections to the government around here. Like, just, like, we have the CIA headquarters. We have the FBI headquarters up the street a bit. Langley, Virginia, CIA. Quantico, FBI. We got a fucking Marine base down south, an Army base up north. You got fucking Fort Meade, NSA Central up in Maryland, not too far from here. You got the Pentagon in Virginia. Like, yeah, what are you doing? I don't, that's it. And we got the ATF headquarters out in D.C. So and then, and then Jersey has the DA headquarters for some reason. ATF, them niggas is annoying. Yeah, I don't understand what the point of the ATF is they when all of that is legal. They, they track down, like, gun issues. Bro. Like, illegal guns and shit? Yeah, hmm. man, shit. Weren't the ATF part of the people who started the whole Waco thing, though? I feel like maybe they shouldn't be used. All right, we got a long one from J. Mike. Ooh, Honestly, fun. thank you. Get it when you reach a point of peace and content. I've actually been able to pick up and judge people accurately studying psychology. I It could be just that but one time when I was driving, I yelled at some dude on the street in my head and um, from across the street and the dude stopped, looked dead at me in the car and screamed, what? I was scared. <laughs> Why do I feel like you think you yelled it in your head, but you actually just talked out loud to him? <laughs> yeah, like what if you're schizophrenic, my G? <laughs> my friend even freaked out. <laughs> what, if, what if it was that weird look? But what if he like, what if he saw you looking at him and he noticed you were looking no, at him? No, boy, like, like you probably could have just like, been looking what? straight at him. <laughs> <laughs> like, why the fuck you looking straight at me? What, bitch? 
<laughs> God damn. Like, every time, I'll, I'll, like, turn my head towards people, and they'll instantly just stare at me on the street. Fuck yeah, I like Go-Go. Go-Go the shit. Fuck yeah. Hey, shit. who asked about Go-Go? Six Cloud asked about Go-Go. Fuck yeah, mo. Fucking Go-Go, yeah. Fuck oh, yeah. no, Six Cloud is a dealer. Fuck yeah. Get go-go some from DC. Sauce, you get some fucking Go-Go, mo. It's lit. That's Dry the DMV's like. music right there. That's the only nice thing about the DMV. True. Fucking I mean, love I, don't, I wouldn't say that. Well, we got some good food out here. Dude, let's yeah, not. Yeah, because CIA. Let's not pretend the DMV does not have good food. Do we? Fuck yeah, dude. We're a major city. We're a major area, man. Like. Yeah, we got mumbo sauce. Mumbo insane sauce. Insane amount of um diversity mumbo here. Mumbo sauce on my tacos last night. This shit was amazing. Compared, like, let's say the next time we go to Toledo, how how easy would it be for us to say find an Afghan restaurant? Uh, an African rex restaurant, a Brazilian restaurant, uh, maybe a Thai restaurant. Like, how easy would it be to find all that shit within maybe seven miles of each other? You can Can you do that in Toledo? We can do that in DC. We can do that. In we can Toledo. do that right here. We can do that in Woodbridge. Actually. Yeah, in Woodbridge alone. We like we, part of the DMV, the DMV we got some insane shit. diversity, bro. Yeah, that's like walking down the street in New York. We <laughs> can do that shit. We just gotta drive. They can walk like, down the street. We're in New York. we're we so drive. lucky. We're spread out more, so I feel like we don't feel like that. But it's like we we do have a huge amount of food options that food out here. Dang. A majority of the country do not get to experience. Favorite things about DC: the clubs in DC. Man, fuck the clubs in DC. I fucking hate the clubs in DC. Favorite things about the DMV. Well, I don't really go. Favorite things else. about the DMV? What's, mm. I ain't really been outside the DMV much, so I, it's all normal to me. So I don't really know what the things. I are. mean, I like the food. I'm not gonna lie. It's <sighs> having gone to Europe and shit, being able to. Yeah, I, I really, miss I like really the multicultural food. foods I was able to get here. Um, even like going to Colorado or something. It's like you don't get the vast multicultural cultural food that I wanted. That you do get here, like that is, I think, something that, that we do take for granted. To Ohio and, and Toledo. Granted, I got my first sushi burger. I never had a sushi burger anywhere else. I will give it that. Didn't you have it in New York? A sushi burger? No, I had a veggie burger that was like amazing. Mm. I've only been to New York once. And this was a burger out of sushi ingredients or a hamburger a, rolled up like a sushi? No, it was a sushi burger out of sushi ingredients. Like the rice, the, the, the buns was rice, like mm. solid. And then the bread, then they had like sushi stuff. And, and that shit was so fucking good. And then the, the stuff was all Naruto themed. Like, Whole entire thing. That shit was amazing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it was awesome. I like that. DC fashion though. DC fashion be killing me. I mean, like, like DMV fashion, I think kills any other places fashion. Also, our street art and just random culture. Honestly, if you just like walk around D- uh, DC, it's pretty. Li- it's pretty lit. I mean, it was, but. Oh my god, man! I'll be looking at how other places dress, and I'll be like, damn, these people suck. They shit suck. They shit tragic. Drip, drip, honestly, American drip, Atlanta, DMV. It was a sushi burger York. from the mall. New York has some like some some dope fashion. When it's warm, when it's cold, they all just they all just in the same fucking jacket. No bull. Um, this is a big ass North Face. Cali would win if Cali just didn't suck. Why does Cali suck? Like their fashion just be looking like. Okay, we get it. You smoke and you surf. You go to the beach. That's about it. Largely. On scale. All right. When you think about somebody from Cali, what, what do you think about? Th- what do you think they wear? I think about how you normally dress, but with shorts instead of pants. It's always fucking shorts. Like literally, they, for the most part of what I've been to Cali, I think three times now. Like it's not. What they wear out there, man. Or two times. I'm sorry. But like, I've been in two parts of California. No, I've been to three. I've been to San Diego, L.A., and um, some one of those hills have eyes up north ones, and uh, d- just normal clothing, really, like just t-shirts and shorts most of the time, man. Like it's not anything yeah, wild. Born. Um, was that sushi burger from the mall? It was not from the mall. It was like from uh, some spot we stopped at while we got out to eat after leaving Toledo because we all got hungry. It was like before we left Toledo, but we needed this place to stop. We got sushi restaurants in the mall. Well, did they have Man, sushi burgers? Man, I would probably not get sushi right now, though, Mo. I'm trying to get some fucking sushi right now. It sounds so good, but I feel like raw fish is definitely not the move right now. Probably not due to importing laws. Yeah. This is this is so far what I have for the top of this cut of cloud. The clouds have sneak tongues. Ooh. You should... Let me see that one more time. Okay. I have nothing else. So... Could you, would it be cool to make the cloud text out of clouds? Yes, it can work. I can do that. 
I can make it work. But yeah, DM, DMV culture is, is is comparable. I hate the traffic, but like everything else is not bad. Yeah, the traffic is fucking makes you want to kill everybody. I would I would literally I'd be driving in my own neighborhood and like I'd be wanting to shoot old people in the face. Like how do I leave my own neighborhood five minutes? Five, like not even five minutes Like one minute and a half Into driving I'm, ar- I'm already like In an accident Because you don't know How to stop at a fucking stop sign It's a basic fucking rule You can see it on TV Everybody knows Stop at the motherfucking stop sign You don't just turn randomly Without looking That, that shit happened before I, I remember um, The first few years I started driving Like in the, f- the Fuck In the first couple years Okay um, This bird tried to fuck uh, I'm about to close that door If it keep fucking chirping Oh my gosh, <laughs> um, I remember it was you know like right by the uh, the bank and the clubhouse. What's now and now the Domino's they've added and stuff. Yeah. Taking that right hand turn at the stop sign to get to the main light. I was at the stop sign ra- waiting to take a turn. I already stopped and was about to move forward with the turn. And then this one person comes down that lane coming from the intersection and like cuts the corner so hard turning into the road I'm on and almost hit me and then they started yelling at me and got, like I can see them in their car like looking at me like I fucked up and they're yelling at me I'm like what are you I'm literally at the stop sign you cut the fucking corner and like what are you talking about you're reckless driving because you didn't want to do a proper turn and you're gonna get mad at me like do you know how fucking neighborhoods work just because there's no lanes doesn't mean you just do lie. what you want. The first time I ever got hit by a car, the person yelled at me for hitting me. And I was like, bitch, you in the car. I just was walking. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy. So, yeah, DMV definitely has the Now, people out. do that all the time for some reason, bro. Like, when my friend got in a car crash in Vegas, uh, we didn't hit anyone. We just hit a fucking uh, light post in a tree. And then this dude gets out of the car and runs up to us and just starts screaming at us. And I'm just like... Do do no do just Americans not know how to handle like crisis situations? I don't think so. Cause like, cause I remember um, you remember last year when that one uh girl like crashed her car out front of my house and like her whole wheel flew off and she like knocked into the jeep and everything. I, I didn't know anything about that shit. You told I, me about I it, posted, but it's not in that chat. detail. Oh man, I posted it all on the chat and shit. It was like right out front of my house, loud ass bang. And so like me and a couple neighbors just got out with some flashlights and just helped move any major pieces out of the. Uh, inter- like the main road part and just calmly fucking talked to her and got what needed to be got done like no one I don't know like it's so weird how sometimes that's the only uh, crash I've seen or been around that like no one was really yelling at everyone at the initial point of it so I, just, I don't know man humans or at least Americans have very big anger issues for some reason always when they're in the car this one in the car I think it's how we do our traffic. I think our traffic just naturally is made to piss This motherfucker off. saw me taking a left turn and decided to take a right turn anyway. Shit, Shit blew my mind. Time. Oh, my gosh. That's how the fuck it be, though. Yo, I feel like traffic has gotten more dangerous now with this essential it don't make worker no sense. shit. They're not even driving in, in the fucking lane no more. They just they just doing whatever the fuck they Bro, want. I've seen literally cops. Like, I've been, I've had a cop tailgate me before uh, now driving around and it's like a central worker thing. I'm just like, yo... Like, no one, like, I know, I think I know why all these accidents are happening now. It's you motherfuckers being all impatient and just doing what you think you can do. And just like, man, like, I, it, seeing so few people on the road made me understand speed limits more now. Because even though there's fewer people, it now showed me how people are more emboldened to just speed and drive recklessly and it just fucks shit up. I understand, like, why Germany, just their highway, you can go as fast as you want. But it's only their highway. I think everything else has speed limits because it's just like we can't trust you guys on normal roads. Like highways were just a straight shot. You're not going to be stopping randomly or taking hard turns. Like, okay, fine. But anything else, man, it seems like humans cannot be trusted to just do the responsible thing. Fuck no, they fucking suck ass. Every time I leave my motherfucking house, it's always some dumb shit. We're going a Every half time. a mile under the speed limit without noticing and people being patient as hell. Man, I'd be so, like, I don't even give a fuck anymore about like, like when people get mad that I'm driving slow, I'm like, look, I'm going the speed limit. You need a, you fuck you, man. I don't just care. Around, bitch. I just, I listen to like podcasts and audiobooks when I drive, so I don't give a fuck. I rarely listen to music because I notice when I do listen to music and drive, it does like, um, influence my driving more. 
um, especially depending on like the time of day and mood I'm in throughout that day. Man, my past charges influenced my driving. I ain't trying to go back to jail. That shit crazy. Crazy. Do, do, do. Do, do. All right. Nova traffic is ass. It's the worst traffic in America. No, it really is. We always like tie with fucking LA. We're like we either tie with them or like we're right under them. So how is Uncharted two coming out? But like, didn't on how hasn't there been like so many Uncharted? Like, wait, what? It is a, it's a remaster, right? Oh, it's the remaster. Oh, and God of War is getting remastered. That's why they trending in Portal two. Okay, that makes sense. Well. You know the video game. Well, I I already know this. Mo knows this, but for everyone else, hopefully you finally realize it now. The video game industry is finally in its uh, dark ages. Fuck it's yes. it's officially in it. Just almost constantly, every game is being remastered now, and almost all the time, the remastered versions have microtransactions. Resident Evil Three. I haven't played it, but I was watching a video on it today. It has microtransactions. Like it has like double XP and shit, like stuff like that. And I'm like, damn. This meme says, imagine fucking a magician and he nutting you. You freak out. But then he says, psych bitch, check your ear. <laughs> it says Jesus has left the chat. That, that's that's some funny shit. Could you imagine it? <laughs> that bitch walking around with coming in the ear because you want to do a magic. I'm just imagining him like kind of pulling it out of your ear. You know, you just have this cum dripping down your earlobe and on your shoulder. That shit ain't cool. Like, bro, like, I'd rather you just nut it in me. Like, holy shit. shit. What the fuck wrong with you, son? Now I gotta get this out of my hair. That's some crazy shit right there. All right. Yeah, there is nothing new that can happen. This is why I'm glad I'm not in the industry. What industry? Yeah, what industry? I drive in silence because I'm always around music, so it's nice to be able to think and have that time to myself. Oh, that industry. Nah, you, you're probably just done with everything you're listening to, and you need to go to a different genre. No, no, DJ Press Play is doing a... That's a good, good idea, too, you know? Just being in your thoughts and just looking at the world around you. That's always nice. The only problem why I wouldn't want to do that is I feel like I just get lost in my thoughts while driving. Like, have you ever just driven, and then you forgot why you were going somewhere, and then you had to, like, be like, oh, yeah, that's right. No. Man. I've definitely done that. At night. Or like go to the store and then just be like, why was I going to the store? Oh, yeah. That's why. What the fuck? Because I just got list. lost in my thoughts. Let's take a list. This is why I'm glad. <laughs> oh, game industry. Oh, the gaming industry. Never mind. Wait, I thought you were working on video games. Yeah, but he's not in the industry. Like, I'm not fully in the film industry yet, but I make and work on, like, um, what do you call them? Uh, indie stuff. But I'm not, like, I'm not a certified industry professional yet. Can we play a new game? We can. I always get lost in my thoughts while driving. All right. Here's a new game. What's the most inappropriate thought you can think of in a location of choice? So find a thought and then think of a location of choice. In the most inappropriate thought you can think of in that Bro, location. Kentucky is right next to us. Holy shit. I took a jab just to clear my mind and ended up in Kentucky. That's two and a half hours away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Wait, how'd you get to Kentucky in two and a half hours? Yeah, how the fuck did you do that? Like, Kentucky is literally right next to us. You know what? I don't know how big Kentucky is. Let me Let me hold up and pull up a map. He probably ended up on, like, the far right of it, or the far left of it. All right, so this is how it works. So you think of a thought that's inappropriate in the location. So, like, if you're in church thinking about tongue in Jesus' ass. Or oh, okay. Or, like. Kentucky does border Ohio. That's wild. When you're at the funeral. Yo, I never really about look cutting at that bitch map. out, but that bitch is the one in the casket, and it's your grandma. Inappropriate thoughts. I don't know. This might be a bad game. I don't know why I came up with this. This was spur of the moment. I don't even remember. What was the game you were talking about? I'm sorry. It's uh, the most inappropriate thoughts you can think of in a certain location. Inappropriate? Yeah. 
Okay, come up with the inappropriate thought in the location. It's hard because normally they just happen on the spot. <laughs> This is basically cause against humanities, but you make everything up yourself. Thinking I should slap this bitch at a funeral. That's a good one. That is, that is actually a good one. Why not take a cigarette break um, during a surgery? More unprofessional, but I feel like you can't just step out of a surgery. I'm trying to think of some good ones. Or like wanting to pick your nose while you're doing surgery. That's a, that's a worse He's one. violent. Thinking about beating a teacher's ass while you're talking to them. <laughs> I've been there. Oh, I've been there too many times. I don't even know if that's inappropriate. That's is some it shit. time to change my contacts? That's just some shit you gotta deal with. Fuck yeah. Nah, okay, okay. I got a better thing because this is this is hard. Um, what's the dumbest shit you ever did in school and the reason you got in trouble? Maybe you might have got away with it. What's I poked my friend in the back and got uh out of school suspension for a few days. Just poking him. Pretty much. I mean, I was poking him throughout the whole day. His back was in pain. We were best friends at the time, so me being that best friend, every now and then I'd just give him a good little poke just to fuck with him. What the fuck? And, he, and he wanted to be a shittier friend, and when a teacher saw him fucking cry out, he really took it far enough to take me to the fucking administrator's office, basically say, yeah, he did it, blah, 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 and then got me fucking suspended for a few days. Needless to say, I was not his friend for over a year. Fuck that kid. Wanted to scratch your ass when getting checked for prostate cancer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I never really got in trouble in school, bro. I don't know. I was I born Juan kid. and I became best friends because of that shitty kid. Well, sometimes you become it's friends. How, yeah, it's normally how best friends work. There's always like that middle buffer of... It's not always you hate that person, but there's like always a middle buffer. That just makes it easy to become friends with somebody else out of mutual dis- dislike. For that one person. Yep. And then from there, you're both like, oh, yo, well, you like that too? What? Oh, shit. And then y'all just hang out forever. <laughs> yep. And so one of them moves. I had a pencil stab battle with my friend until someone was cut and the teacher got mad. Sheesh, what the fuck is wrong Damn, with you? Ping. I once got in trouble for sitting next to someone who called a girl retarded. How did Wait, what? <laughs> Explain. I got in trouble for putting sticky notes on somebody's on someone's back and that shit was stupid. Yeah, I feel like you never really got in trouble, Mo. Yeah, he doesn't seem like one. I feel like you were also like probably five foot, like eight in like elementary school. <laughs> so, like my friend Jonathan's like tall as shit, probably as tall as you, or like right under it. And like even in like elementary school, bro, he was just a tower. It was wild. You're too fucking ping. Apparently, you're tall as shit too. I was tall as hell in elementary school. Sheesh. <laughs> I got Probably I kept hitting the fucking doors and shit. Because the kid next to me was jerking off. That shit is real. You Hold ever on, be what? next to a kid jerking off and you want and you don't want to be next to him and the teacher's just like, what is he doing? I'm going to watch him. I said, bitch, get him out the fucking class. He's jerking off. I had to deal with that shit all the way from eighth grade onward. That what shit fucking sucks. grade was this, Ping? What fucking, where are you where kids are just jerking off in class? Man, I was in fucking Godwin Middle School. He actually was, but they yelled at me. That this kid would jerk off so consistently, everybody in the class knew it. The teachers knew it, and nobody do shit. I hope I was not in a classroom where another kid was jerking off. That I feel like was weird. I feel like my school was not that fucked up. That shit was fucked up, man. Like I'm telling you, man, I fucked up. There was things. definitely a lot of fucking and blowjobs in the stairwells, though. That's a fact. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, bro. You, mm. my favorite stair with the back, the back. I don't know the direction of the building, but uh, if you're facing the front of the building, like the far back right stairwell, that was the fun stairwell. 
It was darkly lit. No one ever used it because it was like the finance and home ec part of the the school. So like they never really had classes there. It wasn't like the main elective type classes. So it never really piled with students. It was great. Jesus. I was in. It was in seventh grade. Holy shit! I was sitting in the middle of an argument, and the kid on my right called the girl on my left retarded, and me, and the kid on my right. Go after school. Got after school suspension. I did nothing. I was listening to the Carter Four. <laughs> he said I did nothing. I was listening to the Carter Four. <laughs> he said. He, she said. He said. Take that fat nigga too. I don't like him. <laughs> Wow. He been listening to Lil Wayne and he called me retarded. He didn't come to my rescue. Fuck his bitch ass. See, Fuck that's, you, I dude. always hated like the school system, how they have like that mini- military punishment shit where it's like one person does something, multiple people start getting in trouble for it. And you're like, this is why we hate you. Like, this is why school shootings happen, probably. This like military fucking... Maybe, maybe people should have looked at fucking Full Metal Jacket and maybe evaluated it more because holy shit. It's. If anyone has ever seen Full Metal Jacket, you know what I'm talking about. I've never seen Full Metal Jacket. Oh, that's a great movie. It's, again, one of those long-ass Stanley Kubrick movies, but it is a great war movie. Fucking good. And it's also a movie where a lot of stuff gets homaged and parodied from nowadays. A lot. I try watching it. Huh? I never find it, because when it, every time people... Every time it would become popular again and, like, Media. Someone fucking buys up the rights to it for a bit. It pisses yeah. me off. Like, Netflix yeah. used to have it constantly, and now I don't yeah. know who owns it. And it kind of drives me ma- mad, because Full Metal Jacket is a really good movie. Funny enough, Full Metal Jacket was, I believe, all shot in Britain. Because Stanley Kubrick does not like to leave his home, like, be too far from his home, so almost pretty much all of his movies are shot in Britain. He's one of those, like, pissy directors, but everyone's like, man, you make masterpieces, so I guess we can't argue. Can't argue with your dumb ass. So they'll spend... Insane amounts of money turning like fucking some area in Britain into Vietnam or some shit like that. Coding class, I forgot what period it is, it was. Press play be getting in trouble for just being in. I really was with Skimo. I got in trouble for being too close to a fight too, but I didn't get suspended for that. I just got yelled at. The fuck you doing so close to niggas wrecking? Fuck wrong with you. You want to get slugged too? Fuck wrong with you. Why didn't you break it up? Fuck wrong with you. Um, what are you egging it on? <laughs> you just watching? What the fuck was you doing? I said, nigga, the fight lasted for like one minute. Where was I supposed to go? Was I supposed to run away? She like, enticed shit? me my whole life. <laughs> I feel like no one knows what I'm saying right now. It's, it's an audio log of this dude who shot his wife dead and then called 911. And he was just like, I just shot my wife. And then that one operator was like, oh, what? Is she okay? Is she alive? He's like, I don't know. Let me check. He, like, kicks her. Like, you can hear it on the phone. He's like, hey, you alive? He's like, nah, I don't think she's alive anymore. <laughs> she's like, no one operator was like, why did you do that? He's just like, she enticed me my whole life. <laughs> that shit was actually pretty funny. It's funny too. Uh, some 911 calls are wild. I got in trouble for telling a teacher she's a bitch and she gets no dick. To be honest, I understand why I got in trouble, but she deserved it. Sheesh. If I had a teacher in my high school, Miss Cotton, I bet you she, if she just got a good dick and she wouldn't be such a cunt. That would have been, that's most teachers, man. Nah, but she was like an extra cunt. Like out of all the teachers and at least most of the teachers I had and some of my friends had in Potomac, she was well known for being the cunt. Like... This it's bitch. That one that yeah. Like, oh, fuck her. And then, and then one year she's just all happy, and she got a husband. No, nah, like, we never saw that shit. At least I didn't get to see it. Shit. It sucked, bro. She was, just ah. Uh. And funny enough, she always had a teacher's aide. Almost like the school knows she's a cunt, and they need to have someone there to like level her out. So <laughs> else, the class probably would just fucking murder her. <laughs> like, cause like most of my teachers never had really teachers' aides, but. She did. All the time. And I had her twice. I had her in, like, I think, uh, junior year and freshman year. That sucks. 
get stuck with the shitty teacher twice. Yeah, she was a. Uh, uh. <sighs> Memories of that shit, bro. I found all the school to be unbearable. I was on autopilot through most of it. Like Dude, fuck do. yeah. I watched a lot of movies on my iPod uh, back in the middle school and high school days. I couldn't do any of that. I just had to watch movies inside my head. Oh, no. Nah, I, I just had that small ass uh, iPod Nano or whatever it was, and I would just do that. And then I got an iPod Touch. It felt like I was in quarantine. I still have the iPod Touch. It's in that drawer over there. Like I, It's an 8 gigabyte iPod Touch even before the camera. I can't really do anything with it now. One, because I don't have an old school iPod charger. And two, like iTunes doesn't really exist. And it's only eight gigabytes, bro. Some of my podcasts are like up to a gigabyte or two. Like, yeah, that thing holds. there's no way I can put anything on it. But I, I feel like maybe they don't like mix down songs a lot anymore. Any action so hurt her, her feelings. Fuck her. Now, the teacher said something like, you just going to watch them fight and not break it up. I knew it. They always try to put it on you because they think you're going to break the shit up. And I said, no, because I'm not going to get caught up in that. Plus, I'm listening to music. Let them fight. <laughs> the teacher mm-hmm. told me, you'll be in more trouble if you one of them, if, if one of them died. They both are white. They'll be fine. Yeah, one of them is just going to sue the other. Like, who cares? That school was racist, so that's probably true. Wow. Yeah, I had my a teacher like that. My favorite teacher was my Algebra 2 trigonometry teacher. She ain't shit. The only C plus I got in high school. Shake my motherfucking head. That was my teacher freshman year in uh, high school, Mo. It was Algebra 2. This bitch just basically fo- phoned out. She was like, I'm done. I'm retiring next year. I don't give a shit type shit. I did not learn a damn thing. She basically just passed the class along. And the worst part was our class was also also reckless. To the point where like almost halfway through uh, the year, she just started playing movies. She didn't give a fuck anymore. She was like, look, y'all, like, fuck it. It's- have to see the blind side in, in school, though. The, the one with the dude? Who, who learned yeah, football? with the Sandra Bullock and the other dude. I, I saw him at uh, the motherfucking uh, water park, Six Flags or some shit. I don't remember. It was the one with the water park. What? Yeah, I don't remember which water park it was. Or oh, no, it was an amusement park. I think it might have been Six Flags. He tall as shit. He looks nothing like the guy that played in that movie. All right, I have nothing else to talk about. What do you guys want to talk about? Shit, I'm just over here drawing some Scudder World cloud combination art. If you guys can see that, it's kind of like, I don't know if I should get closer. I think I should get closer. Try and try my motherfucking best. But I pull away because it gets blurry. I forgot, like, you got to focus and shit. There it is. It's kind of like right there. Cameras work weird. The next year, I had a harder version of the class with a different teacher, and I understood that shit perfectly. Yeah, some teachers will de- basically ruin your fucking life. They will. They will fuck your whole life up, and then you're responsible for teaching yourself that shit over again, and you feel dumb. But it's like, no, they were dumb. They taught me stupid. I think I'm done with this. This shit's gonna be amazing. Check this shit out. You showing me the screen? I'm showing you. I'm looking, but I don't see anything. That one there. <laughs> <laughs> Who is an underrated artist, and why do you think so? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Who is an underrated artist, and why do I think so? One of my teachers let us watch 8 Mile. That shit was dope. Your teacher's dope as shit. Who's an underrated artist and why do you think so? Underrated artist and why do I think so? Who's an artist that really tries really hard and still is underrated? Are you, are you going to add the the cloud look on the other side as well of the text? or? Yeah. The C looks cool, but I feel like the, the, the D is cool too. It's just the X's look a little eh. Yeah, the X's wear me out, so I'm going to have to just change those yeah, up. Just, like, full cloud out the X's, but everything else is kind of cool. Shit, who is an underrated artist that I think really deserves more recognition? Yes. Brandon Yuri. Yes. Fucking Brandon Yuri from Panic at the Disco. That dude can sing his fucking ass off. 
He can sing his motherfucking ass off. He deserves way more recognition. Who else? You should give the clouds snake eyes. Great artist. That gets overlooked. I should get the clouds snake eyes? Yeah. Nah, it doesn't seem quite petunia ish. It won't blend with the fucking sun. And I thought it was like overshooting. It was too much of a blend. The tongue was enough to where it was like kind of weird. Snake eyes are pretty cartoony. They're used in cartoons a lot. I don't want to do it. I thought about it. I didn't want to go with it. Little Skies is underrated, and I think so because I really like his music, but nobody seems to give him a chance. I try giving Little Skies a chance. He's just boring as shit. I don't have. I would add Dito on the uh, Flying Saucer. All right. Fucking Scudder World Cloud. Scudder Cloud. Scudder Cloud. Who do you think is an underrated artist? Tanache, hands down. She always released music and she is consistent with her craft. She never changed after All Hands on Deck was huge, nor did she change when her song 2 on was huge as well. All she has is she has the same look and the sound and the moves. So now she's born. She reminds me of Sierra. Like, why do I need two of you? Ooh, Flying Lotus. Do you think Flying Lotus gets enough recognition? Yeah, I think so. Too. I'm not, I'm not for what they do. Yeah, not for what he does. Yeah, Flying Lotus does, does his shit. He does the shit that he do. He gets enough recognition. Sierra isn't as good as she used to be. I never listened to Sierra, so I don't even know. I don't listen to both of them bitches. Fuck, I know about them. Also, Lincoln Park is underrated, at least around here. I know they are the most popular in the other places in the country. They're overrated. Lincoln Park. They're fucking overrated. The worldwide phenomena that is Lincoln Park is underrated. They are overrated. That's like me saying Little Uzi is underrated. People respect the shit out of Little Uzi. They did a song with Jay Z. You do a song with Jay Z, you're on for fucking ever. Pretty much. think Black Thought is underrated? Who the fuck is Black Thought? Apparently. Um, um, I, but I don't want to go to that. Do y'all think Black Thought? Who the fuck is Black Thought? They must be underrated because I don't know who the fuck they are. Uh, apparently, um, breaking news, Boris Johnson is being moved to an ICU as his COVID-19 worsens. Who the fuck is Boris Johnson? He's the Prime Minister of Britain in the UK during the whole Brexit thing. Oh, homie about to die. He's basically their version of Trump, apparently, is how people equate it. Oh, homie about to die, die. Oh, coronavirus emergency press conference from Donald Trump. What fun. You want to watch it? Y'all want to watch Donald Trump? Or He's fun to, to listen Donald to him Trump. talk. I'm kind of done with Donald Trump. Like I said around here, I don't really care. There, are, there was one. Of only he just geeks when he starts asking stuff. questions from reporters because he still insults them. <laughs> it's My so funny. I just yo just butchered her name and I'm disgusted at Vaz a wing, Vaz in a wig. Well, I'm sorry. Shit, I'm trying. Try my fucking best. Try try every day for my fucking best. I'm really out of material, to be honest. Like, I don't know how we're supposed to make it to 6 p.m. Because I'm really out of material for you guys. I have nothing. I have fucking nothing else to talk about. We could shop for wigs. I mean, you can try to find some good Donald Trump wigs. That's about it. I don't know. Oh, he's not even at the podium yet. Boo. 
I have lost all sense of what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. We got 30 minutes. We gonna make something happen. Fine. God damn, we gonna make something happen. All right, here we go. Shit. Ah. And what we got that's random? What we got that's random? Um. Random? Yep. Uh, I don't know. Come on. Can light candles. We can light some motherfucking candles. And then and then put them out with your fingertips. All right, that's what we doing. Let's light some candles and we put them out with our fingertips. Where the candles at? Where the candles? Fucking knees, goddamn it, they hurt. I need these candles. Make this shit happen. Let's do it. Where the candles? the candles worst recipe you've ever seen seen talk oh, about man. our my um, to try to get people to join if they cool that ceviche recipe we were looking up where this dude Jay was putting point. in like carrots and shit yeah that shit was, that one terrible. was pretty bad that nigga put some chopped carrots in some ceviche i said nigga what the fuck is you doing you don't know how to make no damn ceviche lying ass nigga fucking stupid goofy ass nigga shit was dumb um play porn we we play um Aaron plays some porn. You gotta come to the Minecraft. He plays porn sometimes. He plays some Family Guy porn. He plays some uh, what was it? Scooby Doo, parody? What was it? Batman? What was it? It was uh, it was uh, the Grinch X X the Grinch and X X X Christmas. It was the Grinch porn. Um, yeah, our, our Minecraft server is coming out pretty well. If you guys have not been a part of our, if you've not seen or heard about our Minecraft server or watched it, to anybody who's still in the chat, it's coming along pretty well. Like uh, we got. We got a, uh, we're building some strip clubs in that bitch. DJ Press. Yeah, the Grinch one wasn't that good, Ping. Like, even the actors looked disinterested during the fucking parts. Ew. But it was amazing cinematography. It looks like, like, the set design, the lighting, the camera work was really good. Because the camera work during the fucking, there would be, like, feet in the middle of the puss sometimes. And you're like, what kind of angle is this? Like, I don't, I don't think the dude really films porn a lot. But everything else was stunning. Fucking beautiful. It's something they sell at more than the other, which is weird. Yeah, they should've just gotten a new cameraman for all the sex scenes. But even the actors and actresses didn't look too interested in the fucking. Cause they were probably done with the cameraman. They're like, nigga, what are you doing? Throwing me off. I'm trying to fuck, and you doing weird positions. Like, do I even look cute? Trying Worst look recipe cute. I've ever seen was a slab of beef put on a grill with salt and pepper. I think they called it steak. Damn, he should film movies instead then. Yeah, he really should, Pink. He probably just did it for the uh for the bag, honestly. But Um I ran Wow, DJ Pressplay. J- just for, salt uh, and pepper on that fucking meat. I ran for like two 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 streams of being mayor on our Minecraft server. The first um time when I became mayor of our Mon- of Hemroid, that's the name of our Minecraft server. Um when I became mayor of Hemroid I actually lost the election, but DJ Presley gave up the rights, and I became mayor. And then I beat him in mayor for the second election. And then for the third election, we were both somehow beat by somebody who didn't even have the game, which kind of sucked. Um, but Minecraft is a very... Well, technically, he got the game that night, so... Yeah, but it was like, at the time, he just did Too bad it was game. like, right, when we were ready to kind of start logging off, because holy shit, did that stream go on forever. But still, the weird part is, we got beat by somebody who didn't have the fucking game at the time. He bought the game, I guess, because he won. But, like, Jesus. You know how weird it is to be beat by somebody in an election that doesn't even have the fucking game? No. Uh, okay. Um, It's like he was Harambe and they voted for him. That shit was weird. What else? Uh, In our Minecraft server, we're working on getting electricity installed at the moment. But uh, it's hard. Well, light, lights, not electricity. Lights. City light, lights. Sea lights. And... um. S- we're working on a bunch of shit. We're trying to get into place. I'm not mayor currently, but when I do become mayor again, I do hope to change a lot of things. First, I will make Rex shrink his house down because that thing is too big. Then I will make DJ Press Play um, give up some resources and taxes for the size of his house once I become mayor again. The stream was top tie. Thank you. No, because I'm pressed that I couldn't run for mayor. Okay. DJ Press Play done built a five-star hotel and called it his house. He's going to have to pay some taxes on that bitch. Or he's going to have to find a way to make it in audience with zoning codes or use it as a community center in order to get by on taxes, in which I can't tax him. 
But apparently it's going to be a community center, according to what they said in Ryan's stream earlier. Apparently it might be a community center. Press play, are you and Ryan still going to do some uh, uh, Mario Kart? Oh, yeah, it is Mario Kart Mondays. I have no resources. Well, mm. you will be providing them because you used them all. So I would like to improve mines. while I'm going to do other redstone stuff. I might look into improving. Ooh, I got a phone call from Indiana. Let's answer. Indiana. You're live. Oh, yes, I remember. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Man, you're the first out of 90 people. Out of 90 people? Yeah, I call like time. Like, I had you go on a phone flip, and 90 other people as well that have been contacting. Oh. Like, I don't remember you. Oh, man, I remember you. It was weird because your phone, your phone number said Indiana for some reason. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, how you doing, man? Uh, pretty good. I'm actually, uh... Uh, filming right now. Okay. So what's a good time to reach back out to you? Um, I can reach back out to you after uh, after we're all set, done with set design and stuff. Um, you said seven. Uh, I don't know if we'll be done by then, but I can definitely call you right after. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, shoot me a text, man. Just take them in a call, and uh, we'll we'll top it up. Okay, I got you. All right, brother. Appreciate it. All right, no problem. He's Who the hell was that? I don't know. He keeps offering me a job, but he never told me what the job was. Oh, one of those things. It's mm -hmm. one of those things. So I was just like, how I could go into that, but then like that's now just gonna from be a whole different number. Yeah, and that's just like that's just sad to watch if we get into all of that. Handsome. Ooh, answer him. Oh my god. So that was weird. Oh, so it's Minecraft Monday today? No, Word. Oh yeah, I guess we're probably oh, okay. it's we're, Minecraft Monday. I guess we're playing Minecraft today as well. What do you what do you guys think is essential for building a Minecraft community? Like what do you think makes Minecraft one of the top play games for so long? Like it's been out since two thousand ten and it's still one of the top play games. Like what do you think is the reason for that? I, I would think it, it allows a lot of creativity and freedom, honestly. But so did Little Big Planet in other games. Like why do you think mm. they failed? Like what do you think they failed with Minecraft? Like Repeatedly seceded. Minecraft and Little Big Planet, I would argue, do not have the same type of creativity. I don't know though. I have not played Little Big. I have not played anything past the first Little Big Planet. Oh man, it gets um, very creative towards like the third one. I think Minecraft was also simpler, um, cheaper. Well, at the time, it was cheaper. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It it's a winning formula that just fucking worked and if it's not broke they don't fix it i believe if minecraft ever did like a huge update in which like changed anything everybody would be out they'd be like fuck this this ain't what i want well i feel like if anyone was dumb enough to create a minecraft 2 then you're fucked like yeah, you it's got to stay minecraft it just needs to constantly be updated by itself minecraft is love minecraft is life i believe that yes ping yes ping yes it is see we got each other wow Minecraft is love. Minecraft is life. Have you built the square face? Have you made the stone faces? Have you dug in the mines? Have you put your pickaxe to the ground and received the resource that you deserve? Have you punched the tree with your fist, gotten wood, made wood, made it to the stone age, made it to the iron age, made it to gold, made it to diamond? Have you done everything that you can do in Minecraft? Yes, let me get a yes, let me get a I deserve these things because I made it my damn self. You think that's what it is? Damn, diamond and redstone would be the industrial age. Yes, it would. Preach, Vaz, preach. I'll be preaching. I'll be motherfucking preaching. We're actually going to do a 555 church very soon. I might hold it in Minecraft if I can build a church very soon. Preach, Vaz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know how to react to that. I don't know how to react to that. I deserve these things because I made it my damn self. <laughs> that cat, I may have stole it from a village, but did I tame it? 
Did I tame it? Yes, I did. Don't ask questions. Why you asking? If I got cats and you don't, I got the cats. You don't got to ask questions. I bred them. You can have one. I sit it in your house. Will he listen to you? No, sir. No, sir. I made a golem. It protects the village. I did everything I was supposed to do in oh. Minecraft. Ping, were you able to get on Minecraft with us now? Although, since he doesn't have a PlayStation, how would we be able to talk to him? I don't know. But shit, if I lay my head down in the Minecraft server, I will go to sleep and wake up in the morning. But God forbid I lay my bed down in the nether. We don't return from there. He randomly sent me a message and said, handsome, like, like what? Are you going to start a conversation calling me handsome? Like, what the fuck? I'm so confused right now. God damn, I can figure it out. But yes, Minecraft is love. Minecraft is life. Have you ever beat Minecraft and you get that message at the end of the game? Once you beat it, the message they have for you? Um, I don't know if it's changed. Because when I, when I, like, killed the dragon... That was probably in like 2010, maybe? Mm -hmm. Like really long ago, before Microsoft ever bought it. Just so I really don't know. Just, give me a gist of what you remember. I really don't know. I don't even think there was like a big message. I think it just said there congratulations. There was a long ass message, and it said, do they know that we love them? Do we know that they that, that we created this for them to enjoy? Do they know that they are loved, they are light, and that we thank them for playing this game? And it was a very eye-opening message that was heartfelt. And that's not realized. I said, this game is love. Also, I'm waiting for my mom to wake up so she can buy me the thing. I don't think it will really take too long since my dad is blasting music. Awesome. Ooh, we're getting clips. Something went wrong. Priest Vaz. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, damn. We actually clipped. Goddamn. Okay. That's crazy. Bet, Mo. Thank you for that clip because I tried it, but I feel like clip. I didn't get the whole thing. Minecraft wants you to have those diamonds. When I go into the nether, I gasp every time I see a gas. Yeah. I hate when I hear them, but I don't see them. Yeah, that shit's crazy. You, you ever just, go into you the nether like and the you see Weirdest, like, little fucking <laughs> noises. <laughs> just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> And you're just like, like, where the fuck did they get this sound bite? Like, oh. who the fuck made this sound bite? Like, why the fuck did they want it to sound like this? All things colored. And they're dangerous. They just shoot flaming hot rocks at you. One thing I am pissed off about our server in our nether is that I think I have to build the nether portal in another location. Because the location we have right now, there's just no castles. It is bullshit where we are. Yes, that nether portal sucks dick. I was about to say, like, how do we get this to change locations cuz I'm just going to build it. I'm just going to build another one far away. Far away? Yep, just going to build it in a different little spot. All right, we should make a whole walkway to it then. Cuz if you build them in the same location or you build another one to another location, it's like they're just going to spawn you in the same location still. Mm. That's next to the next to another one. Although use the Well, one. this sounds like a perfect thing for us to make a quick minecart metro system and then we can make it to the our new ender portal and then come all the way back easily. But what if that nether portal sucks? Well, we won't make the system until we know. Okay. But if we find a good sense. spot for the that portal, makes that makes sense. We won't we make can, that nether. We can put that it up. nether portal. That nether portal will not be made and until we can determine we, if we can steal items from. We it. shouldn't destroy the current one either. No, we should not. Only because if we're in the nether and then we happen to find the other one, then we know how to quickly get back to our and place. And then we can create a Minecraft system in that nether to that nether, and then we can find a different portal. I don't know about a minecart system, but a minecart system in another portal, and then we can create it and then stretch and then. And then we'll have a tunnel in the nether that will be indestructible. <laughs> what? That seems excessive. There's always some excessiveness when it comes to playing games for me. This is a place you can build on top of a mountain behind your house. There is a place you can build on top of the mountain behind your house. You're a fucking genius. Yes. And if we raise the elevation... Then we'll be above with the gas. Yes. Ideally, right? Ideally. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it fucking works either. 
I'm just gonna bring a diamond pickaxe and I'm just gonna bring a. a oh, that big mountain with the jack o' lantern and the the kind of like archway thing nah, in it. The thing behind my house is just a huge ass mountain. That's kind of a couple though, aren't there? No, this is one giant one. Just oh, a okay. Big, giant ass mountain behind my fucking house. Shit, crazy. Shit's fucking insane. But also, we're on the edge of the map, so I don't know whether or not it's because we're on the edge of the map that we keep spawning in a terrible spot in another. And if we went to the center of the map and then made it a thing, would it be better? We're on the edge of the map. Yeah, we're on the edge of the map. Like we're just like edged out. Hmm. I thought I made it infinite. Like I didn't do classic. It is, it is an infinite map, but I'm saying we're on like on the, we're on the edge of one of the maps of all the maps, and then like if you take one of the maps, it shows we're on the edge, and it is an infinite map. But the maps can only display so much, and then you got to make a new map of like, and then you got map one, you got map two, you got oh okay. Damn. Complicated. It's it's Minecraft is a surgery in which you got to know how to do brain surgery and rocket science. There's one giant one, but yeah yeah yeah. Boom 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 boom. boom. Man, I don't know what the fuck to talk about for the next 15 minutes. We didn't talk about Minecraft. Shit. What else is there to talk about? Um, let me see. Let me see what my phone says. Is, uh, when are we going to get a, func- a functioning economy in Minecraft? That would be kind of cool. I'd I don't know like, how that would work, though, but... Simple. Emeralds. Yeah, I used to have a lot during that raid, and then I died, and I don't know what happened to them all. Well? I feel like someone took them. Well, you got robbed. You got killed and robbed for your emeralds. Simply, you you use emeralds, and we ex- we change we exchange emeralds and blocks of emeralds for services and products that we make, and we specialize in our own talent and stuff that we do for money. And that's how you get an economy. Favorite drink: water, tequila. Jesus, <laughs> damn! What the fuck wrong with y'all? <laughs> one of them said the drink and said the blandest thing. The other one said tequila. It said the most extreme thing. I'm like, God damn, nobody said this blueberry juice. Oh, I had blueberry juice earlier. Hey, man, blueberry juice is fire. Well, it was more like a, a blueberry seltzer or something. I don't know. It was like V8 blueberry shit. That should be fire as fuck. It was pretty nice. Fuck with it. Heavy. I was one of those kids. I used to actually drink like the, the V8 tomato juice shit. Like, that shit was pretty tasty to me as a kid. I was like, oh, shit, this stuff tastes nice. I don't know if as I've grown older, I don't like tomato juice that much anymore, or the formula has changed. But I don't know. As a kid, I, f- I fucked with it every now and then. And I, for- I-, I wanted to like just find any random stuff. Here we go. Dog, if you never had some blueberry juice, god damn, you fucking up. You really are fucking If you just never had blueberries, they you... They that shit at Walmart. Like, missing out. I got mixed berry juice in here at the moment, I think. Yeah, man. Get that shit. That shit fire. You got the blueberry juice. You got the blackberry blueberry juice with the kai. You got the raspberry pomegranate. You got the, um, what else you got? You got, uh, various other fruits. You can get the dragon fruit special. You ain't never had no dragon fruit juice, have you? Shit crazy. Get some dragon fruit juice. That shit, that shit different. Um, what else? Hmm. People don't treat themselves. You got to get the mango strawberries. Fuck, that shit be good as fuck. And then you can get the you can get the good nature shit. You know I'm talking about that that smoothie drinks, the smoothie drinks, the naked, the naked smoothies. Oh, yeah, oh my oh. god, that should be hitting in spots Bro. and locations in your body make your body feel right. Them naked drinks Them are naked so good. Them naked drinks is amazing. They put me on a thousand, and I'm already on a hundred. So you put me on a thousand one hundred. I'm starting on my day talking about fucking your grandma in the face. I won't stop. I can't stop, and she will catch the nut. Your grandma will be dribbling, and she, God damn. I'm on a thousand and one hundred, god damn it. Forty seven fucking years old. I remember one time I drank a naked early in the morning, man. I was in high school, bugging it, tweaking, dancing, motherfucking chill. Teacher like, why you got so much energy today? I said, I ain't think about your ass, that's why. You know? You know how this shit go. We ain't here to be we ain't here to be ruthless. I'm just trying to live the, my best life and that bitch in the way most of the time. God damn. Chim chim chamal chamama mango tree is fire. What the fuck is chimim ch- pronounce that in? I like orange pineapple juice. Orange Ooh. pineapple juice, fire. I never, oh my God. Naked green machine smoothies are incredible. Ew, you're gross. Come on. Oh, man. Are you, are you talking about that green. like kind of like, mm, that almost like Chimel- celery tasting Chimel- shit? Chimel- How the fuck do you pronounce that, DJ Pressplay? I probably spelled it wrong. 
How you, the spell it how you pronounce it. You mean Mo? Yeah, Mo. Fuck. Which one did I say? Because I feel like I have some of those upstairs. Like, uh. Yo, what type of chips use those? Uh, sour cream and onion. I never had that flavor, and I never tried. There's some things I wouldn't Camel make. meal. Camel meal, mango tree. Gosh, I, oh, like if cam- it's that shit that has that like weirdly almost strong celery taste, man. I don't know. I hate that shit. I heard camel meal was good for you. It probably is, but god damn, that shit's strong as fuck. I hate it. It's got a cloud. All right. I'm done. Let's find somebody to read. God damn. We'll be back. We're going to be on Minecraft at 7 o'clock. You can come visit us on Minecraft at 7 or after 7, and we will all be on the Minecraft server, and you can play with us. Sour cream and onion is a legendary combo. I've never tried it, and I never will try it because I hate sour cream and onion, and I never tasted it, but I hate it with a passion because I've never tasted it, and I never will. I just don't like the smell of it. Coconut water. Coconut water is gross. I hate coconuts. I hate the taste of coconuts. I don't even like sour cream. Coconut water? I will put sour cream on shit, and I will eat onions, but together, fuck that. Why did they put them together? Because it's a very good combo, apparently. Fuck that shit. Why you want your mouth to smell like sour cream and onions? Hey, what's good, Red Lipstick? You actually caught us as we leaving out. <laughs> we getting the fuck out of here. I'm tired of being in this bitch. I'm tired. We drew some shit today. We drew a t-shirt. We did a bunch of shit today, and I'm glad I was able to sit here and have fun with friends. Well, I want to make some rice pudding. I haven't um, done that in so long. Well? I don't know if it shows well. I try to get closer, but then it blurs out because of, like, shit. I don't know. But it's a Scudder World Cloud t-shirt combo. You know, get your Scudder World stickers and shit, bitch. Um, anyway, we got cloud stickers, too. So it's going to be a combination Sorry, of cloud what stickers. What did you just say? Fucking press play? Wait, what? Same reason why my dick tastes like it. Ew, nigga. Gross. Thank you all coming for to painting with friends. We learned some Japanese, French, Dutch, Spanish. Korean, Anasion. Um, what are we learning? What are we learning Japanese? I don't. I don't know. What did we learn? Y'all gotta remember. What the fuck did we learn in Korean? What did we learn in Korean? Anasion, some shit. Gami 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 da some some shit. I forgot. Um, damn. What the fuck did we learn in Japanese? What did they teach us in Japanese? Fuck. She told us. She told she taught us how to say it's good to please you. Please be good to me. Or can I please you? She taught us some very like she taught us some very prostitute language. Um, they taught us how to please be good to me. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't learn anything because you just wanted to see her titties. <laughs> That's true. I don't I ain't lying. I mean, at least I'm real about it. Shit. Fuck. And then we learned how to twerk. We did learn how to twerk in some other videos. And then we watched a Spanish woman fuck it up. And then I thought about getting one of my, some of my Facebook friends pregnant. Um, what, did, what else did I think about? What else did we do? We had some we had some talks about 5G. 5G was pretty cool. We learned about some 5G shit. And uh, we learned about... We talked about food. Influence. Yeah, we learned. We talked about food. Forced food recipes. We talked about school. We did the mayor game. Um, we talked about random conspiracies for a bit. DJ Press plays the mayor. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, press plays me the mayor now until next Monday. Yep. And uh, what else did we talk about? Or whatever, play it again. Um. We did a cloud ad, and we, we watched about- weird rich YouTubers emotionally break down on oh, camera. Oh yeah, we did watch people break down and cry. That shit was weird. Can we demonstrate how we learned how to twerk? Of of to those who missed. No, we're not pulling up the booty shaking things because I think we he do wanted that. You to twerk. Ding. Vaz doesn't have an ass, so he can't really twerk. Yeah, you ain't gonna see nothing but paper flying in the wind. Yeah. We know what that shit's like. But if we play them twerking videos again, like, I'm gonna You're call need to put him in, like, a banana and hammock and, and just have him, like, shake that bulge around or something. Yeah, that's that's something. Do have bulges. Um, what else? What else did we learn? Oh, yeah. Remember, our comic of the week is The Tower of God. It has recently been featured on Country Roll, and you can find it on the Webtoon app, and you can read it with the Webtoon app, and it will be the greatest comic that you have ever read. It's The Tower of God. 
and you can watch it on Crunchyroll now because it now has a featured anime. They always said webtoons wouldn't have animes. Well, look at them now. You can suck my dick now if you didn't believe me. And uh, what else did we learn? We did a cloud ad. You can go to cloud.org if you want to buy some of the clothes that we were drawing today. I'm drawing new designs, and I did Priest Vaz stuff, and that that was there. As mayor, I never want to hear about Vaz's bulge again. Well, that's not my problem. You, shit, you don't hear about it, you'll see it. Or your bitch will. I don't give a fuck. Mm. That's been today's episode of Painting with Friends. Go to cloud.org. We're going to find somebody to raid, and we're going to get the fuck out. Rage is on. Motherfucking Rage is on. Do you see Rage? Or do you, we can send you guys to Rage, and you can watch Rage play Tekken 7, or we can send you to Beast Wilkinson. Beast Wilkinson, he um plays anime videos. Do you have Beast? You follow Beast Wilkinson? Uh, I do not think so. He plays anime. So if you guys want to watch anime for an hour until we come back on the Minecraft stream, we can. Or if you want to watch Rage be an asshole and play Tekken, oh, Rage it is. She's very toxic, and she is very fun to watch. So we are going to raid Rage. All righty then. Uh, thank you, everyone, very much for thank coming out. Thank you for coming to this Monday's version of Painting with Friends. We love this show. Fucking love it. I'm never taking off this wig again, motherfuckers. I'm never saying it off again. See y'all in hours. You're going to see me in